Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Sunday, my friends. Wrapping up another weekend here in the sim world. Lightspeed, good to see you. Sushi, good to see you. 12 Cut, welcome. Caleb, good to see you. Lasering Bot, welcome. Boss Man, good to see you. Steven, welcome. <clears throat> uh, Rohit, good to see you. SR88 Gaming, welcome back. Michael Lochner, good to see you. Gary P, welcome. Skyworker, good to see you, dude. John Xander, welcome back. Uh, Leonard Grant, good to see you. Yuckfu, welcome. Wyatt, good to see you. Billy B, good to see you. High Tech, welcome. Flights, good to see you. Um, <clears throat> Gage Watkins, good to see you, man. Average Beaver, welcome back. Marvin, good to see you. Lee Russell, welcome back. Anthony Baldo, good to see you, my friend. Fish, good to see you. Uh, College Dude is here, welcome. Average Aviator is here, good to see you. Fly Daddy O, welcome. Tom, good to see you. Balders, welcome. Ken, good to see you, my friend. Rasmus is here. Ken, Keith Laverne, welcome back, Keith. Good to see you. Ed E, welcome. Uh, Flight Sim Pilot, good to see you. Jugal Stoomp, good to see you as well, my friend. Bomb Tech, welcome. Doink, good to see you. Caleb, good to see you. Um, Abba, welcome back. Muddy Funkster, good to see you. <clears throat> Pardon me, Riz Nation, welcome back, Riz, good to see you, dude. It is St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? St. Patty's Day, it is. Uh, Reed, good to see you, man. Kevin, good to see you. Mitchell, good to see you. JR, welcome back as well. Thanks for coming to hang out today, friends. Appreciate y'all. Hope everybody is having a great weekend. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Nice and relaxing. Nice and calm and peaceful. Uh, we're doing some Norway ops today. A little bit of a shorter stream than normal. I do have a dinner that I have to go to tonight. I got to leave at about 4, 4.30 my time. Uh, so a little bit of a shorter stream today. The flights aren't entirely long uh but it is going to be a good one we've been meaning to do some norway ops now well i've been meaning to do some norway ops for quite a while so to be able to dust off the norwegian nor shuttle or i think we're called nordic today 
I believe NOZ is Nordic call sign. They have like a couple different call signs. Very similar to EasyJet. EasyJet flying within the UK is EasyJet. EasyJet flying outside of the UK is known as Alpine. So it's very similar with Norwegian. I think they have two or three call signs, different call signs that they use for operations. Uh, we are Nordic today. Yes, I just checked. Nordic. Nope, not Red Nose. Red Nose, I believe, is the... Uh, I think that was their low cost. Uh, this isn't Red Nose. NOZ is Nordic, is their iCow code or call sign. Doing ORD to MMMX right now, three and a half hour stretch. Not too bad. It's a decent flight. Yeah. Mr. Javis, good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Aviations, good to see you. Jones, welcome back, dude. Good to see you. Where do you check for those different airlines? Usually just Google it, man. Wikipedia has everything. If you look here on the second page, like you just put in, I literally just Googled. I think I just Googled NOZ iCow code and you go to Wikipedia, Norwegian Air Shuttle, and it says our iCow is NOZ and then our call sign is Nordic. Um, Wikipedia for the win. When you don't know, Wikipedia for the win. CHLM, huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you very much for the support. Appreciate you, dude, gifting a membership to the channel. Incredibly kind of you, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, CHLM. Thank you very, very much. Really do appreciate you, mate. Do you know any stretchable materials? Uh, no. No, it, it's it's a horse farm, man. It's a it's a horse sanctuary. It's a equine service. If you don't know what that is, just just Google. You'll see exactly what it is. It's more open pastures for horses to like run around and frolic in. Red Nose is a call sign for the sweetest version of Norwegian Airlines. There you go. Hopefully we'll be back in the skies uh, tonight after having a rest. Uh, reset windows. Hopefully, Beaver. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, boss man, please make sure you say thank you in chat to CHLM gifting you a membership to the channel. Justin, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Going IED to SXM. All I see is ocean. Yes. Hiccup, what's the weather in Canada? Uh, seasonally warmer. Uh, it's been a little bit cool over the last couple of days, but it's seasonally warmer. We did get some snow yesterday here where I live. Um, I can't speak for the rest of Canada. I only know about where I live, but, uh, Samir, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Hate him. Good to see you, man. Uh, thank you for the question again. Carmel, good to see you, dude. What do you think about the fly by wire 380? I mean, it looks great. Uh, I'm not going to get too excited. I have, I still don't have a release date. I don't know when I'm going to get to fly it. So I'm not going to get too excited. I'm, it looks good. Mr. Mopar, dude. Guten Tag. Good to see you, my friend. Happy Sunday. Hope you are well. Uh, let's jump inside the aircraft fronts. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll up into Alison today. We're looking at 50-minute flight time. If there was not a more perfect Sunday flight, it's this It's this round trip right here, chat. 50 minutes there, 50 minutes back. Cruise altitude, 30,000 feet. Get up in the air, cruise for about 15, 20 minutes, and then plan and start our descent down into Allison. Beautiful scenery as well on both ends today. Uh, exclamation point scenery. All of the scenery was provided by Orbex. Huge shout out to Orbex. Wonderful scenery up here in Norway. <coughs> Orbex hasn't really done anything like new though recently like not like any international airports i think what the last the last orbex scenery that came out i believe was stockholm and that was a while ago so mike thank you for your support man thank you for also becoming a member i saw yesterday after stream becoming a member and then also gifting a membership to the channel huge no floaties to you mike thank you very much for your support dude i appreciate you it's incredibly kind Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Not working on the Fly by R380 is coming out this Tuesday because on one of the photos in the McDo, the A380 said March 19th. Bad. I wouldn't believe that, man. I don't think it's coming out on Tuesday. That's just me, but uh, I wouldn't look into those dates too bad. They were probably just flying at that date because it had the best time, views, whatever it was. Yeah. Where uh, they brought out uh, that three airport pack a couple months back. Yeah, it's like the last like major, but again, like, Weren't those airports already developed? They just put them in a pack together and sold it as a pack. I don't know. It's just like you look around at some of the development groups and some of the stuff that people are doing in Orbex seems to just kind of be... I think they just put out like some like unknown registered airfield somewhere. I don't know. I was in Toronto all this past week visiting my brother and his family. Man, this country is cold, especially for someone coming from India currently back in LA. Yes. Very cold, Rohit. Yeah, especially if you're not used to it, man. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll chill you down to the bone. It's not coming on Tuesday. It's not even close. I would agree. Yeah. There are still some things that were in op on the Flybauer 380, some major things on the PFD. I, it's not coming anytime soon. I'm still probably four to six months out. Maybe, maybe we get something for Flight Sim Expo, and that's kind of like the date that they're working around <clears throat> sometime in June. <coughs> Pardon me. 
that would be my best guess, uh, if, if I had to guess, would be sometime, anytime after June Expo, you know. Hey, wait a minute, we're not in Ireland today, we're not, no, yeah. Early 2026, if we're being real, no, it's not going to take another three, two years for the airplane to come out. Did Alex's proposal go well? I haven't seen Alex yet, we'll have to wait and see if he jumps in here today to say hello. Uh, hopefully it did, that's why he's a busy man right now, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, he's, uh, very busy this weekend. Law Fox, good to see you back, man. Welcome, welcome. Let's jump inside the aircraft, friends. Let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll. Again, 50 minutes into Allison today, so not a very long flight. First things first, upstairs. Battery switch goes to the on position. Ground power goes on as well. That'll bring life to the aircraft. Beautiful. Let's go all the way up top. We'll get our IRS set left side and right side. Good. Continue our flows down here. Yacht ampers can stay off. We've got the forward fuel pump on. We're sitting on ground power and bat power, so everything's looking good there up over here good i'm gonna get some panel brightness turned up on this guy wonderful let's go and arm our emergency exits no smoking can go to the auto position window heat is going on probe heat and hydraulic pumps will stay off for now good uh packs are in the off position isolation valve is open engine bleeds are on ep bleed is off again we're going up to thirty thousand feet today so set our pressurization panel for 30,000 feet. We can also look at our arrival into Alessand. Uh, the airport elevation, probably sea level. Yeah, 70 feet elevation. So we'll put in 50 feet, I think is what you do. Or do you round up? Well, it would be 50 feet anyways, because you can only go by 50s. So it would be 50 feet uh, for the landing altitude. So we'll bug that up. We'll get our logo light on. Beautiful. Let's come down here to the electronic flight bag. We'll go ahead and request our data from Simbrief. Beautiful. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Um, Oslo to Alessand with a cost index of 35. 238 nautical miles uh, straight uh, to the airport at uh, Alessand. So, good, cool. Let's come down here. I'm going to get some brightness on some of these guys. Background brightness, main panel brightness. Yes, yes, yes. We like that. I'm going to turn down some of the screens. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. We are flying real-time, real weather. We'll see if we can do the return flight real-time as well. We we'll probably will, actually. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too dark too quickly. I know that we're in Norway, so things can get a little bit... Uh, it can get dark a little bit quickly. Uh, let's get that on and running. Beautiful. Let's go to our FMC tab. We're going to go to our pause in it. We're going to scroll next page. We'll grab our left GPS. We'll scroll back. We'll set our IRS position. Good. We'll go to route tab. We're going to do our flight plan request. You can see it's ENGM to ENAL. Good. Go ahead and sim brief that. We're going to set payload. Clear that out. We're going to set fuel. Clear that out. And then we're going to select route. Good. Give that a couple seconds to run through its stuff. Uh, MN Sports fan. Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope we're doing well. If you could choose one PMDG 777 or fly-by-wire 380. Uh, 777. 777, man. The 777 is operated on like short and medium routes as well. You don't really see that outside of the Middle East for the 380s. Uh, also, the 777 is operated by so many more airlines than the 380. So, I got to go with the 777, man, all day long. All day long, a lot of carriers of the 777. You can do cargo, you can do passenger. Yeah. Activate and execute our flight plan beautiful let's go to our i think we have etc online we do one two zero four five so we'll tune to oslo gardeman approach one two zero four five we'll let them know we've got edis information whiskey good one two zero four five twenty two we've got x-ray on board looking to pick up our clearance <coughs> sir nordic one one nine zero identified the climb flight level two one zero and report passing altitude Never been a long haul uh, flyer, but watching that teaser very well may have converted me. I think it's good to have a nice little balance, Aviation Blaze, if I'm being honest. I'm not the biggest fan of long hauls. I find the process in between after departure to like landing just kind of uneventful, if you will. I wouldn't say boring, but uneventful. And, and I, I, I kind of struggle making content when I'm, I'm doing like longer haul stuff. But I think if we have a nice balance of it, like I said, man, you can take the 777 out. There's tons of short flights, right? We, we, were, we were going over, but I mean, Air Canada flies it, you know, from Montreal to Toronto. That's an hour and a half flight. That's perfect. Um, there's also all kinds of Japanese routes that take like an, on an, an hour. There's all kinds of Middle Eastern routes that take the 777 as well. Um, United fly Chicago to Denver in the 777. There's there's so many different routes that you can do for the 777, you know? So, um, lots of medium, you know, longer, short haul, medium flights and stuff that we can do. 
There's lots of cool Wait, things we can do. Yeah. Do you interchange rudder pedals every time you fly with a Boeing yoke? No, I keep the same rudder pedals. Rudder pedals don't change. Rudder pedals are the same for every aircraft that I fly. What are your sensitivities like on this bird? Uh, the same as the A300. I believe it's minus 30, minus 30, 1% dead zone, 5% reactivity is what I believe I'm running. I can actually check for you if you'd like while we're sitting here waiting for clearance. Control options. Um, TCA, no, TCA Boeing yoke. Sensitivities, there you go. Uh, so uh, minus 30, sorry, minus 9 on those, minus 30 on this guy with the reactivity. I'm actually going to bump my reactivity up to 15%. I'm going to try that. I've noticed it seems a little bit sluggish with this aircraft. The E300 flies perfect with those settings that we just had, but, um, yeah. Uh, minus 10, minus 10, 3% dead zone? No, I believe that that's for the side stick. That's not for the yoke that we're using. The yoke is definitely minus 30, minus 30, which we just showed right there. Minus 30, minus 30 with 15% reactivity and a 2% dead zone. We uh, we switched it around when we when we were flying the A300. That was seemed to be the best controls that it was for the for the A300. Skydiving one free, uh, for the second. 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 Skydiving one free, uh, Start for, uh, 414. Nordic 3 3 Bravo, wind 150 degrees 4 knots, 7 0 1 right, clear land. Uh, we're going to call for our clearance here in a sec. Busy. Very, very busy, it seems. Captain, yeah, I'll be hopping on um, Allison Tower for you. Sweet, Benjamin. Very cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. C one nine er descend via Valpu transition clear I left zero one left. Scan Rivian two five five push to bro hello again. Clear to all it in the gra airbox five alpha zero one left seven thousand feet initial climb. Squawk one point four one. Clear to the station via the FTO 5 Alpha, departure, runway 0 1 left, range to climb 7000 feet, scope 1441, <coughs> Scandinavian 255. Scandinavian 255, be back, correct. Also departure, Nordic 461, requesting IFR 2 Alpha. Nordic 461, Oslo approach, hello, clear to all of the Vigra. Holy hell, crazy busy right now. Initial climb, 7000 feet, squawk 2737. Everybody's calling for clearance. How long will the flight time be? 50 minutes. I think we're actually scheduled for 49 minutes. 49 minutes on the flight time. They're not a long one at all. Nordic, uh, first one, you're ready to stop. Nordic, 4016, push and start approved. As a correction, push and start approved, start position 15, QNH 1026. Hey, we're all rocking the Freddie Mercury plane, too. Nice. That's one we're flying. Also approach, good uh, evening, Nordic 4, Golf Alpha, ATIS information, X ray IFR 2, Alison, please. Nordic 4, Golf Alpha, post approach, hello. Exit current, clear to all of the Vigra, Epoch 5 Alpha, 01 left, initial climb, 7000, squawk 3373. Clear to Allison, Evto 5 Alpha departure, 01 left, initial climb, 7000, squawk 3373, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha, Rita, correct, break, break, Scandinavian 4, 9. All right, three, turn that down here for a second. We'll start working on some things. Go to departure. We are on the Evto 5 Alpha departure out of 01 left. We'll execute that. Good. 
Let's go to arrivals. Let's see what the wind's doing here in Alessand. If we look at the winds, weather, uh, 080 at 6. 080 at 6, which means that we are going to definitely be arriving on runway 6. Uh, so we'll plan for that one. It looks like we're going to be on the... Uh, what was the arrival? The Obit One or Obit One Quebec is the arrival that we're on, and we're going to go to E now. We're going to go to approach, and we're going to plan for the. Is there just an RNP? Okay, good. Uh, we get to do an RNP. No cool approaches. Now we'll just play like the RNP Zulu. I'm assuming is what we'll take probably from Lapev. If we look at our arrival, where does it take us to? It takes us to Lapev, so that's perfect. So uh, we'll plan for the Obit 1 Quebec arrival. There it is right there. Good. We're going to plan for the Arnav Zulu runway 6 from Lapev, and we'll go ahead and execute that. Wonderful. Cool. Sweet. That all looks good to me. Let's go back to our ref. Let's start plugging in some numbers. 61.5, good plan, 6.3. Reserves, we're going to go with 2. Cost index was uh, 35. We'll do our perfinit request. We'll fill that out. We'll let that aircraft worry about that. Oslo Ground is now online. Okay. That is good. You've had a few go-arounds before, but have you ever done an RTO during a stream? I don't think so, David. Somebody asked me that the other day as well. I don't think so. Go ahead and load our performance numbers. Good. We'll execute that. We're actually going up to 300, 30,000 feet, so we'll bug that up as well. Um, transition altitude is 7,000 feet, which we are climbing to. Perfect. Let's go to our N1 limits here today. We'll head over to the electronic flight bag, work on some numbers over here. Go to performance tool. Good. We are departing out of one left. We're going to import from aircraft. We'll flip that over. That looks good to me. We'll import the weather. Good. We'll flip that over as well. And we can go ahead and calculate our V-speeds. Good. Flaps 5 degrees, 89.31 on the N1. Takeoff range, so no D-rate. And we're going with a cell temp of 51 degrees. So we'll select that, 51 degrees. <clears throat> we'll go to our takeoff page here today. Flaps will be 5 degrees. CG weight was 19.2. Uh, should actually be 19.3, but that's fine. We'll leave it at 19.2. And we've got our V speeds 42, 44, 47. 42, 44, and 147. Beautiful. Cool. Pre flight is done. Let's go to the overhead. <clears throat> APU start switch is on. I'm just going to go to my legs page, make sure I don't have any crazy discontinuities, which I don't. Beautiful. Cool. Everything's good. Everything's set there, chat. Happy with all of that. We'll go over to our N1 limit and take off page there. Wonderful. Uh, make sure that my park brake is on. Yes. <clears throat> and the EPU is spooling up. You hear about the A380 and the 777 teasers. Uh, William, yeah, I'm a full-time content creator, William, on YouTube. Absolutely, man. I'm, I'm pretty well aware of all the stuff that's going on in the background of the, of the flight sim world. Uh, yes, I'm very well aware of the 777 and the 380 previews that we had. Yes. I am flying alone in an Osprey livery because I couldn't get a Norwegian in time. That's okay, man. <clears throat> that is okay. Question for you, Cap, or anyone who knows. My Phoenix landing gear has a grainy texture on it when it when and won't visibly turn. It turns functionally, but I can't see it. Uh, Miles, open up the livery launcher and see if any of your liveries need to be updated so when they did the most recent update of the phoenix a lot of the liveries got broken and that would be causing the issues so yeah do a pilot's life real world actually calculate takeoff performance i thought it was the fmc that did it automatically um i think most of them do doink yeah most like modern airlines and stuff they're going to have probably a tool very similar to this and that's how they're going to get their information. If it's not done for them, it might be done through dispatch as well. So like dispatch before they depart should have all the numbers and would send all that off. But I'm pretty sure they do it. I have a question. I'm currently flying from uh, Vienna to Rome. And I'm flying with a 737-800. I didn't fly it with some time and I can't turn on my VNAV. I don't know why. Set up everything correctly. Do you have a cruise altitude, a cost index, and your weight and balance set? Usually when you can't engage the VNAV, it's because you, you forgot to either set your weight and balance, a cost index, a cruise altitude. So make sure you've got all of those things plugged in. APU generator is on. APU bleed is on. We'll flip this over to APU gen. Good. That all looks good to me. We'll get our anti-collision light on. Good. We'll get our fuel pumps on. Good. We'll get the hydro pumps on as well. Let's go to GSX. We're going to prepare for pushback and departure. Good. Does the frame gen mod give you stutters when panning around the cockpit? No. 
If you are getting stutters, it's because you probably have some settings set too high. Try turning your object LOD down if you're getting stutters with frame gen. That's ex it basically means your graphics card can't keep up to the demand of frame gen is why you're getting stutters. I would assume you're probably on a 2000 series graphics card as well. Maybe. Welcome to Norway. Again, what do you think about Norway? I love Norway, man. I would love to visit one day. I would love it, love it, love it. Let's release the chocks as well. No, we're not worrying about ice treatment. We're perfectly fine. There we go. There's our aircraft. We're going to let them know we're ready for push and start from stand 1-6. Also approach Nordic 4 Golf Alpha ready for push and start stand 1-6. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha, approach Logan, contact the ground, 1-1, one one, that's mode 605. 1-1, one one, thank you. 3-3-7-3. We'll turn that on and reporting, good, and then he wants us over to ground, which is on 1-2-1-6-0-5. One one Flip that over. Good. Which might be able to push and start. We'll see. Aviation guy, my man, seven months. Thank you for the support, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you. For seven months as a first class member. Max, using a 3080, how would you recommend turning the. Uh, go to, just go to the settings, man. Do you have it set to like 200 or something like that? I just use high end preset, and the simulator looks perfectly fine. High end preset, I believe that puts an object LOD of about 100, but it's in the settings. You should find it in the settings. Straight push code C. Nordic ground. Nordic ground. The ground is Nordic 738 here, uh, ready for taxi to runway one left. Nordic 738, uh, got him on ground, hello, taxi, go for short November. Get what are you more excited for, the 777 or the 380? 777. Uh, All day long. All November day long. For Nordic 738. No, Nordic 738 negative, taxi golf, hold short, November. Taxi golf, hold short, November, apologies, Nordic 738. Nordic 414, contact uh, approach, 120, Desmo 450. 20, Delta 450, Nordic 414, no floor. Lately I've been getting stutters on landing and it's quite annoying. Hmm, that's not good, Doink. I've only ever had that issue once in the simulator. It was after a major world update and uh, for whatever reason it was causing the sim. I had to do a fresh install of the entire sim. I just pulled my community folder and then put that in. Ground Hello Nordic 4 Golf Alpha ready for push and start stand 1-6. Somebody's doing fucking radio checks. Ground Nordic 4, Golf Alpha, stand 1-6, info X-ray, ready for motion start. Uh, blocked again, uh, Nordic 2505, Get pretty more excited for, uh, sorry, I got that one. Uh, After the video, the 777 is a day one, one purchase, yes. Five, uh, radio check. Absolutely. 2505, uh, I love people doing radio checks, man. Can, Just you, uh, can you have the pushback in about 10 minutes, maximum? Scan 255, uh, confirm you don't want to push now, but <laughs> Guy's calling for a pushback in 10 minutes. Scan Clogging up the radio. Uh, this is what I hate. Uh, three, this eight, is what I hate about some people eight. when they get on VATS and they just think it's like an open radio frequency. The guy isn't even ready for pushback. 10 minutes away from pushback. And he's now caused me to call for my push three times. This will be the third time I'm calling for my push. These, the little things in VATS, this is what I'm talking about, about pilot courtesy. Where, again... Chat, you can do one thing, man. You, we all have a client. You push your push to talk button for half a second, and you can see that this lights up. See how that lights up? The TX lights up. That's all the radio check that you need, man. You don't need to call and and and, and gum up the radio frequencies by asking for radio checks and, and asking if you can push back in ten minutes and stuff like that. It's just again pilot courtesy I, I can't stress this enough if you want to fly on the network pilot courtesy be nice to the other pilots and, and understand that there's 25 other people at the airport it's not just you right that's what i always tell people just pilot courtesy man just understand what's going on around you and how, how to how to deal with situations like that because that's not the right way you know we always laugh with you and and 
and you know radio check and stuff like that maybe someone's headphones might be you know not working well or something again that, that's that's a them problem melinda that's not our problem that's not the problem of everybody on the vatsim network now if, if, if you don't think your headphones are working correctly that that's an on you you know why is with you such a laughing stock? It's not really such a laughing stock. It's just more yeah, of like, a, who else are you with, MCM? Like that's, who, who, who else could you possibly be with, with you? Yes, you, you are with me, correct. It's not really the, the proper terminology, right? It's supposed to be a, of course you're with them. Who else, who else would you be with, right? That's kind of like the, it, it's, it's not even, it's not even really like that people, you know, make fun of it. It's just more of like a, it's a little bit of like a little laughing. Like you're like, hee hee hee, right? Like, of course, who else would you be with? Of your proper input output selections? Again, Melinda, I'm, I'm just gonna, again, when the first time that you set this up, all you have to do is go to settings, go to push to talk, audio and you can see right here again you do not need to gum up the radio for i don't care how you're going to try and put this for people you do not need to gum up the radio you can literally check this to see if your radio is working you can literally push the push to talk button to see if your push to talk is working you can do all of these things by yourself you don't need to gum up the radio frequencies by doing can i go to radio check please can, can i push back in 10 minutes from now please you don't need to do those things. That's all I'm saying. I'm not like upset or mad. I'm just saying courtesy, courtesy to the other pilots on the network. That's what I'm trying to preach. Stop trying to uh, justify the fact Either you have all the tools at your disposal to check to see if your radios are working, if your communications are working. You don't need to call for a radio check every single time you load into VATSIM or do any of that stuff. Don't need to. Doesn't need to happen. Does not need to happen. Ground hello, Nor uh, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha, ready for push to start. Stand 1 6, information x ray. Nordic K4 Golf Alpha, ground hello, number 6, over hold position. Hold position, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Now I have okay, a Scandinavian on top of me. Jesus, man. This is craziness. Craziness here at Oslo today. QNH1026, Scandinavian 1320. You say we're number six for pushback as well, so. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be here for a little bit of time. A little bit of time we're going to be sitting here, chat. Just a normal day in Vatsim. Well, that's why I'm doing my best to try and teach courtesy, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Nobody's upset. Nobody's mad. Nobody needs, right? Like, I'm just trying to teach you guys courtesy. Courtesy of other pilots when you're on the network. You have every available tool to check and see whether you can receive comms, check comms, do any of that. How long, sorry? Not justifying here, that's just the reason people do those radio checks, but yeah, they can do all the checks on the client themselves. Exactly. So let's not, let's not try and justify Melinda in chat and make people feel that it's okay to do those things. Let's teach them how to do things the right way, right? There's no need to justify. No need to justify somebody doing a radio check. There is absolutely zero need to do a radio check. Do you know who does radio checks all the time and every time I do it, I'm ready to punch my keyboard? It's a lot of people. A lot of streamers do radio checks and stuff too, where it's just like, bro, you do don't need to do that guys <laughs> you don't you're 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 teaching the wrong methods to to the new pilots and the people that aren't maybe familiar about flying on bats and stuff like that right? um invisible grofer 22 months huge no floaties to you my friend thank you very much for the support i appreciate you incredibly kind two months away from your two-year badge thank you my friend appreciate you dude um cst how are you man good to see you dude. welcome back uh how'd your giveaway go yesterday cst hopefully everything went well man hopefully a, a very lucky individual won the giveaway um Aviator Chill, what's up, man? Good afternoon Aviator to you. Six, Lee four, Russell coming six, in with a five pound donation. Seven, Thanks so much. Chat, check. Read me five. Five six, by five. Huge like note floaties to you, my friend. Thank you very much, Lee. I appreciate you, dude. 
Thank you. Stun number two four, not accepted. Yes, but it's done in real life. I think you can add that to the immersion. Yeah, but it, guys, come on. We can't be this stupid. I know it's Sunday, but we can't act this naive about this. In real life, you don't have a client box that shows you when you're hitting the push to talk button. <laughs> you don't have options like opening up your audio panel and seeing if your microphone is working. We're not. We're also not flying in real life, so I'm not. I'm not trying to convey what to do in real life. Obviously, in real life, it's a completely different situation. Also, in real life, a lot of the time they don't do a radio check. They'll make the call, and if they don't get a response, then they'll ask for a radio check. Right? Check, Chat radio check. check. Reading me five. <laughs> Reading me five. I love the way Amy says it too. Reading me five. <laughs> uh, disconnected from the network. Looks like everybody just got disconnected. Are we getting back to the network? Mm, looks like the servers. Looks like everything just went down on Vatsim. All the controllers, everything just went down on Vatsim. So does that mean we all get to push back now? <laughs> Let the chaos commence, chat. As a controller, radio checks are triggering, can confirm myself. It's just like I said, man. It's Yeah, it says uh, error connecting voice server connection failed, bad gateway. This happened, uh, was it last Sunday that we were flying chat that this happened? I can't remember. Anyways, please don't, please don't, uh, again, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to teach proper etiquette on the network. That's all I'm trying to do, chat. Don't 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 misunderstand what I'm saying as like me being angry or something like that. Couldn't be further from the truth. What I'm trying to do, <clears throat> pardon me, what I'm trying to do is just educate the people that may not be familiar or 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 comfortable on Vatsim. There's no need to do radio checks the way that you hear them done on streams and stuff like that. There's zero need for that. Zero need. Lasering bot, nine months. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. Thank you very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate you, man. That is incredibly kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. All right, we're back on the network. It says we're back. Everybody else's client is down. I see ground. I'm going to switch frequencies, go to ground now. I bet you that Scandinavian is still right on top of us. Yep. I don't know why people do that. Like, it, it's really not difficult to just move one gate over, or two gates over. Looking forward to dinner uh, with your mom. What are you guys having? Uh, something good? Can we join? Ooh, full roast beef dinner tonight. A nice roast dinner. Mmm. Yep. Baked potatoes. Roasted potatoes, sorry. Some some gravy. Probably, probably some cauliflower with cheese sauce. Hopefully some Yorkshire puddings. Mmm. Good morning, Cap. Happy Sunday. On my way to pick up my new PC build at Micro Center. Hope you have a good flight. Oh, oh baby. Mr. Midnight Maverick dropping the $10 donation spending. That tax receipt. My man. Huge no floaties to you, Mr. Maverick. Congratulations on the new PC, man. Thank you for the $10. I hope all's well, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I only do radio checks when I do my messages twice and I don't get a response. Correct. That's the appropriate time of doing them. Yeah. Weird, I can't connect to the voice servers on vPilot even when I'm connected. Yeah, it won't connect me to the uh, to the voice servers either. I can try and disconnect and reconnect and see how that works. It says connecting to network, connected to network. So I may be on now. I don't know. We'll see what it says. When do you push? Well, we were waiting for pushback because we're in a queue of pushback. There's a bunch of other planes that need to push back. Ground Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. I think this may be a chalk chat. We may have to log out. I'm not getting... Uh... <sighs> Audio has died. Revert to text for now. Aye, aye, aye. Chat, are we just logging off here? Are we doing text? I'm not. Chat, can we be a little bit, can we be honest here? Part of having ATC is having ATC, not having text ATC. That's, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna press that log off button, chat. We're just gonna hit that park break, chat, and let's push ourselves back, we chat. If there's no voice on Vatsim right now, if the voice servers are down, yeah, no thank you. All right, let's go upstairs. EPU bleed is on. Good. We've got dock pressure. Fuel pumps are on. Wonderful. Let's go engine number two over to ground. 
This happened like a few weeks ago for me. Uh, I think the servers are down. Yes, this happened last week. We were flying from... Uh, where are we flying from, chat? Last week. Copenhagen to Amsterdam, and it did the same thing to us. We lost voice servers, and with about five or ten minutes, they came back. But I have a dinner that I have to go to. I can't just sit on the ground for, for this month, you know, for 20, 30, 40 minutes waiting for pushback. Introduce field number two. Maybe by the time we load in at Alessand, we can kind of plan the, the, the return flight. Set parking brakes. Park brake set. It's a very short pushback. Flight Factor 777 V2 is around the corner. Do you plan to return to x -Plane to try it? No. <laughs> Do you know what also is right around the corner? The PMDG 777, and I can assure you that the PMDG will be the far superior product. I don't even think we need to argue that. Um, no, I will be I will be spending my money on the PMDG product lineup, not here. Flight Factor. No, Flight Factor already has enough of my money. I don't think they deserve very much more, if any. 25% uh, will introduce fuel number one. Good. Delta Sim Pilot, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Everyone in the grandma's on flight sim today. It is Sunday. It is busy, but I don't know. the serv Like I said, man, the servers have been having issues for a couple weeks now. It's kind of weird. I don't know why. I don't know what's been causing them. Not long ago, we had that happen. To switch to text was such a pain in the ass that it's just not worth it at that point. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's just not worth it at that point. Cap, are you excited for the development of the Citation X for Microsoft? Mm, not really. You know me, Diego. I'm not much of a much more of a commercial guy. So, if it was a commercial jet, I would probably get a little bit more excited. Uh, Captain Bubbles, thank you for your first class subscription, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Thank you very much. Welcome back, huge no floaties. Thank you, man. They won't be too far apart. Well. Yeah, because if, if PMDG releases theirs, you can almost you can almost bet your bottom dollar if PMDG releases it, Flight Factor releases the next day because they're gonna they're gonna pull like an X Plane twelve, right? They're gonna do what X Plane did. They're gonna be they're gonna be scared that too many of their clientele would buy the PMDG version of the aircraft and not get the the Flight Factor version. So yeah. I don't think PMDG is too concerned about Flight Factor, but I think Flight Factor would be concerned about PMDG, if that makes sense. Just based off, you know, like I said, same thing that X-Plane kind of did. I think we can all agree that X-Plane 12 came a little bit too early, and they even admitted it themselves that they just didn't want to see, you know, so much of the market dissipate over to Microsoft. So, it makes sense. Flaps 5 degrees, trim value 566. Set that there, good. Auto brake is in RTO, flaps are set. Let's go flight director, left side, right side, auto throttle, V nav, L nav. Good, park brake comes off. Good, turn ourselves out to the right here. Looking forward to the 350 and 777, absolutely. Yes, for sure. It's a very, very short pushback. I'm kind of surprised how short it is. The Flight Factor is coming out this month. Yeah, yeah. Haven't they been saying that since 2019? I'll believe it when I see it. Block time, shit. I did so good yesterday remembering my block time. Well, I had like a minute or two onto it. Sort of wish I'd given X-Plane a try at some point, never did. Always heard that the flight model was much better in X-Plane. I mean, it's subjective. Um, things feel much heavier, Tom. I wouldn't even necessarily say the flight model is better things just feel very heavy and I think that that's just more like what people would expect right things aren't so light and kind of the one thing I would say about like Microsoft is a lot of these airplanes that just they, they feel a little bit toyish like like I said the other day with the wind component right it's been confirmed by real world pilots as well the wind component in this simulator 10 knots of wind in in x-plane or the real world you're not so much really feeling it it, it Yes, it's a little bit of wind on the aircraft. Dude, 10 knots in this simulator is like you're landing into a hurricane. 
what it does to the aircraft, the amount of, of ground force it does, like when you land, it, it, it's kind of crazy, right? So um, those would be the biggest things, honestly, would be the ground physics. That would be the biggest thing that I personally would say um, X-Plane does a far better job with ground physics. Um, now, that being said, Microsoft has a whole new ground physics model that they're going to be rolling out for Microsoft 2024. It's also back compatibility to this one, so developers can import it and, and, and change it if they need be. Um, so PMDG would have to update it, and Phoenix and those guys would have to update the ground friction, ground control, and all that. But we'll see if that's what they want to do or that's what ends up happening. 10 knots of Microsoft is a death sentence. Absolutely. And that's why I'm getting absolutely torched on Facebook when when Thrustmaster is posting these these Facebook shorts and reels because I'm the sponsorship that's why I'm getting torched people are like 11 knots of wind and this guy is battling the aircraft what is this type of shit blah 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 you know like that's why people are after I watched the flight deck to stream uh, flight deck to sim stream yesterday with the Zebo, uh, I know why I don't like X-Plane I mean it's just it's just such a hideous looking simulator man there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts around it, dude. It's just a awful looking. Yes, you can cherry pick some real nice screenshots, and you can cherry pick the simulator, and you can make it look great. But man, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's visually, it's not meant, it's not meant to be a visually appealing simulator. Again, if you, if you look at all like the level D simulators and all these training sims that these pilots train on. The graphics are straight out of 2001, 1999, and that's what X-Plane reminds me of. X-Plane reminds me of just like this die-hard physics sim simulator where they don't care what it looks like outside the window because they're flying in real life. They don't care if the ground textures or the trees or whatever looks like shit. They don't care. That's not why they're there, right? They get to go fly in the real world. That's like the same kind of aspect that I think X-Plane was designed around that same logic of, well, why do I need the world and clouds and, and environment to look good when I can just go fly it in the real world? And you can tell that's the way that X-Plane has been designed, and that's, you know, Austin Meyer, the lead developer of, of X-Plane. He's a real-world pilot, so it, uh, it it makes sense. It really does. Never flown an X-Plane went from FSX to P3D to Microsoft. Nice. I used X-Plane for many, 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 many years. X-Plane 10, X-Plane 11, and, uh, yeah. It definitely is, Doink. Definitely is. But again, I, I can't reiterate this enough. But they've already done the polls. Over 90% of the flight sim community are not real pilots. So, while X-Plane may cater to the 10% of people that aren't interested, you're not going to go very far if, uh, if you're not concentrating and focusing on making your simulator look better every year. I mean, we've had just the most this, the most insane, disgusting, broken anti-aliasing in X-Plane for literal years, and they've never they've never really even thought of fixing it up or anything. You know, why don't you try out X-Plane 12? I have many times. Got some videos up on my channel if you're curious of seeing it. I have, I have, man. I've got lots of X-Plane content on my channel, so if you're ever curious to see what X-Plane looks like, you're good. Is Austin really a real-world pilot? He uh, doesn't even know he is. He flies a... I forget what kind of airplane he has. He has a pretty cool airplane. I forget what it is, but he's got one. All right, let's do it. Yo, Cam's going on. Throttle's up to 40%. Let's go flying, friends. Sounds are up. Chrono. Joga. Flight nose down pressure. Take off power set. Alive. Thank you. Eight knots. Neutral. Each simulator has a unique 
games just depends on what you want from me. I want the most complete airline experience, not the flight training, so MSFS is that explain if you train a bit more, I will be more for you. I'll read that one in a second again. Maverick, thank you very much, man. For the $10 donation. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Auto break off, we'll walk the gear. Knots, Fops one. Bring the sound down just a little bit. Two ten flaps clean. sound do I use? What do you mean? They're just default sounds. Right, coming up 6,000 feet. Autopilot 1 is on. We're going to bug up our cruise altitude. Going to 30,000 feet. Foot level 300. Zero, zero. Good. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Good. Runway turnoffs can come off. Tax light can come off, wing light can come off as well. Beautiful. Sounds can come down. Community engine sounds, they sound different. Uh, nope. Default sounds, man. Default sounds. That's why 12.1 was announced at FS Weekend and will fix the anti-aliasing and have better graphics. I'm sure. At what cost? That's that's the big thing, right? Again, the way that X-Plane does things, I bet your performance just absolutely tanks. And now they're going to spend the next 10 updates fixing the performance that this has caused with the broken anti-aliasing. Again, X-Plane has also mentioned that they have... Uh, this is not the first time they said they have fixed the anti-aliasing. So we'll see. We'll see, man. You know, again, I, I don't I don't really believe I don't believe much, and I, I don't think that I just don't think it's something that can get fixed. Not without like the core simulator making some major changes. Uh, Maverick says each simulator has a use and depends on what you want. For me, I want the most complete airline experience, not flight training. So Microsoft uh, is that explain if you're training, then probably more for you. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that. I think I've mentioned that, you know, lots of times on the channel is that it's, you know, no one can tell you what simulator is right or wrong for you. I, I definitely agree with that one. Um, everybody uses a simulator for a different reason, right? Uh, I can only I can only point to the fact of that, you know, when, when they've done the surveys, 90% of the flight sim community is not real pilots. They're not training to become it. So you would think that scenery and visuals are very important. You know what I mean? So I definitely, uh, definitely agree with that, 100%. Yep. Uh, Mike, gifting five members to the channel. Huge no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate you, dude. That is incredibly kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. And then we've got Doink as well. Huge no floaties to you, Doink. Thank you for the support. Dropping five gifted members. Guys, can we get some love and shout for Mike and Doink? Ten gifted members. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Where is the Daisy EFB wallpaper? It's true. We actually need to make a Daisy one. That would be nice down there. A little day day. Thank you for the support, guys. Appreciate you guys. If you did get a gifted membership, please make sure you say thank you in chat. <clears throat> Unbelievably kind, guys. Thank you so, so much. 10,000 feet landing lights off. Engine start switches over to the auto position. And we'll get the seatbelts in the auto position as well. Flight attendants can start their services. A little bit bumpy out there, but not too bad. Favorite plane will always be the 737, but the Phoenix is now one of the best ones in full airline pilot simulations uh, with this new update. Agree. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, you can watch YouTube on the EFB, or is that just for looks? That's just for looks. 
Yeah, just for looks. Uh, Diego dropping the five dollar donation. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you. Says Captain. I just shot you a link on Discord of an E320 landing in Toronto, and the amount of input on the side stick is nuts. Yes, I watched that. I don't want to share that on stream just in case I get in some some problems. But uh, yes, I already watched that. It was pretty crazy. I was actually Schmitty linked me that video a couple weeks ago, I think. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I have some SDK projects done in Microsoft 2020. Will I be able to import these SDK projects into 2024? I would like to think so. I don't think Microsoft slash Asobo are, are dumb enough to not allow you to do that, Sergeant. I think you should be fine. Yeah. Uh, will you be reconnecting to VATSIM? Maybe when we get down on the ground in Alessand. We'll see. Yeah. If Microsoft masters the physics, it's going to be very hard for x to catch up. But I think they will. Uh, I think they will. I think Laminar and Microsoft, and sorry, I think Microsoft and Asobo know that that's some of the weak points of their simulator. Um, I would like to believe that, yes, they, they are very well aware of that, and that's why you see, you know, like I said, this Captain, big ground physics I just physics shot update. you a link on Discord of an A320 landing in Toronto, and the amount of input on the side stick is nuts. Could you check it out, please? I'm sure the chat would love it. They would love it. I just have to be very careful about playing different people's videos, right? Um, Diego, just how I wouldn't want somebody pulling up my videos and, and probably, you know, so you have to, there, there's cop, weird copyright laws that you have to be careful of. Um, so as much as I would love to watch it, I can link people in chat. How about that? I'll link them to the video in chat. And then if you guys want to visit it, copy, uh, if you guys want to visit this and you want to see it, go ahead and watch it. It's, it's pretty incredible. Um, I will link the video here. There it is. If you go to want to watch that on your own time, um, it's pretty incredible. He's land, it's an Air Canada A320 landing into Toronto, uh, and he's dealing with. But do you see what I mean? Like, do you see how even even with the winds that he's dealing with, like they're almost gusting up to 40 knots, the airplane is still flying straight. Like, yes, he's making inputs on the controls. But it's like the airplane's not just going all over the place like it does in Microsoft, right? Like as soon as you touch the ground in any type of crosswind in Microsoft, your airplane just literally darts to like the other side of the runway. Um, so yeah. He kept, how do you lock your landing gear with the Thrustmaster yoke? Uh, I don't use the Thrustmaster yoke, that's why. Um, there is no function for the Thrustmaster yoke to be programmed for it to be able to lock gear. So you have to disable that and you either have to use G on your keyboard for gear and then lock it or, yeah. The cap of that video said himself that he even thinks he was too aggressive on the controls. Bro, it's insane. It's insane. V1 had a few things to say about those side stick inputs. Did he watch the video? I mean, fuck it. Let's just watch the video. I don't, hopefully we don't get in trouble, but fucking insane. I'm going to leave the, the comms off. Watch the side stick inputs on this chat. Watch on short final. Like it's it's insane. And look at the speed. Look at the gains and losses. And look at the wind. 36 knots, 37 knots gusting now. But like watch the inputs, but watch the control of the airplane. Like it's bananas. He doesn't lose control once at all. But look at the speed, the, the gains, man. The speed gain. It's wild. Wild. And the airplane is just rocking. But again, that's like 40 knots. 39 knots I just saw right there. 36, 25, 38 gusts. So that's probably 25 gusting 38 or something like that. Look at the inputs on the control column, man. Holy shit. He's just hammering that. <laughs> but he puts it right on the thousand footers too. Like just a beauty. Right on the thousand footers, nice and smooth. Bro, insane the amount of input that is being put onto that. Insane. It's, that's gnarly. It's funny, they pull off the runway and the captain's just like, well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, but the inputs should be like this Airbus with those inputs. I don't, I don't know, apparently. I don't know, man. <laughs> Have you never seen that video, Mopar? We could watch it one more time. The video is insane. Like, actually insane. 
Like, just focus on this part of right here. Just focus on the, the, the hand stick and watch what he's doing. It, it's crazy. It's like calm right now. It's pretty calm, but it's when he gets close to the ground that it just goes nuts. Like, he's literally just mashing, like, full back, full forward, full back, full left, full right. Like, right there, he's full right holding that stick. That looked like he was full down. He's <laughs> bananas, dude. Actually insane. It's right, right here where he starts. <coughs> That's full down. Dude, just fighting with it. Now he's down. Now he relaxes it. Nothing into the wind. No, no correction. No nothing. Controlling it with the rudder. <laughs> crazy dude that's why those guys get the big bucks man that's why those guys get the big bucks yeah somebody linked that to v1 be curious to see what v1 says about it if it's it's common to have that type of input on the side stick during during heavy winds or is that a little bit excessive maybe for a youtube video yeah. dude if you were trying to land gusting 35 into microsoft bro good luck good luck that's all i have to say good luck Dude probably really works his forearms, that type of stick movement. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Vatsim servers are slow as hell right now. Vatsim servers are down. Yeah. It's not very close to the limits of the airframe. I mean, the winds. It, yeah, it was a quartering headwind. So, uh, yeah. It was a quartering headwind. So it's just a little bit. Now, you also have to remember... Those Air Canada A320s that we're flying are like 35 years old. So I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if that has something to do with it, the control inputs. I don't know if they're be it's because like they're the older style Airbus. I have no clue. I have no clue if, if, if that's what they're doing. You can hear ETC now. That's fine. We're, we're not going to connect mid-flight. I'll connect back up when we're down on the ground. I don't want to connect mid-flight. He flies for Air Transat. Who's that? Jerome. That was an Air Canada flight, was it not? It definitely was because he was he was saying Air Canada. Like the wait, is it Air? Tra Are you sure it's Air Can? Are you sure it's Air Transat? I thought when I watched the video, I heard him say Air Canada when they're pulling off the runway and he's getting taxi instructions. I thought for sure it was Air Canada. So that's got to be a newer one then. That's going to be an E321 Neo. Okay, that's going to be an E321 Neo then. Interesting. That much input on an E321 Neo. Huh. Yeah, very interesting then. That would be a Neo. Because Air Transat only has A321 Neos. They don't have 320s or anything like that. There's another guy on here that flies uh, for an Eastern European uh, carrier. He posts similar videos. Seems the winds were making that stick movement a bit unusual. Hmm. Weird. Have you locked your stream, uh, frames for, for a specific number? No. I have not. We are at cruise altitude as well, chat. 30,000 feet. Just up above these clouds right now. Very nice down there. Look at the way those clouds look, actually. Kind of crazy. Weird, I haven't seen clouds like that in a while, Microsoft. It's real nice. Benjamin, I'm not going to reconnect in the middle of a flight, man. There, there's probably going to be like six airplanes all on top of each other. I'll connect when we're down on the ground in Alisund. Wouldn't be very, again, pilot courtesy. Wouldn't be very courteous if I were to log in and I'm half a mile in front of somebody. Like, I didn't wait for my turn. We literally just pushed ourselves back. We probably would just be getting departure clearance now to uh, out of out of Oslo if we were still online. So, could you imagine having a full built cockpit sim and also simulates G forces? Would be insane, dude. Insane. How many years do you smoke cap? Very out of context, but just curious. 
Uh, Captain Canada X.11 starter pack. Smoking energy drink, shaking webcam, crashing mid-flight. Good old days. Uh, yeah, it was a while. How many years did I smoke? I don't know, dude. Probably from like 16 to 30, 16 to 29. Too long. There's a channel as a Eurowings captain uh, and sticks are not mistreated like that for sure. Yeah, interesting. Hi, from Approach. Let me know your position. We can check if you're safe to log on or not. Uh, we are just about, well, we're about 40 miles from Ufgug. 48 miles from Ufgug. It's currently where we're sitting. Bring back the darts, no. He has flights from Gatwick to Toronto, got you. That's pretty cool. Huh. I didn't know he was Air Trans, I thought it was Air Canada. So yeah, that, that's a newer, that's a newer airplane then, for sure. You're pretty close? Yeah, it's fine, man. We'll just, we'll log on once we get down on the ground. It's okay. We'll log in when we're down on the ground at Alessand and we'll get ETC for the service back. It's okay, guys. We're almost, we're basically starting our top of descent in 30 miles anyway. Speaking of that, let's uh, plan our descent winds. We'll forecast all that. We'll also get new updated uh, weather for Alessand. Approximately seven nautical miles behind-ish. That's okay. We'll wait. We'll wait to connect. Uh, winds are one zero zero at three. All right, and we're looking for ten sixteen on the Q and H. Ten sixteen, good. Execute load. Activate execute. Should be loading our winds. Execute, good. Cool. Descent winds are there. Good. Good. Our progress page, and you can see top of descent is in twenty one miles. Good. Mike, thank you for the gifted membership, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Incredibly kind. Appreciate you, my man. Thank you. So imagine doing the Maverick challenges in Microsoft while being in a GeForce simulator would black out. You'd be wild. Yeah. Captain, did you hear about the incident with the Latam 77 where 50 people got injured the flight from Sydney to Auckland, if I remember correctly? Yes. Apparently, they said what the actual report says was that the flight attendant came into the cockpit and their leg or something there's like a one of the buttons to make the seat move up and down and forward left and right apparently their leg pushed it forward and the the captain went all the way forward into the control column that's what they're saying is what happened god knows if that's actually what happened but pretty crazy I've always wondered if a fighter pilot, young, uh, yo yo uh, I turn it and miss, pulling G, seems, I don't know, Andre. yo yoing let's <laughs> take the risk of, I, I, I would assume they probably go to the bathroom before they get, they get up, yes. Imagine doing Captain Will landing in a G4 simulator, that wouldn't last very long, that's for sure. That would not last very long, that is for sure. Guys, remember, if you haven't done so and you are enjoying the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Let's get this video up to as many likes as we can. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. Truly do appreciate it. Hope everybody's enjoying. I uh, apologize about, well, it's not really my fault that the Vatsum servers went down, but uh, I do have a dinner to attend to. That's why I couldn't really sit on the ground and wait 20, 30 minutes for the Vatsum servers to figure themselves out. Uh, we've been in the air for about 19 minutes, so about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for the servers is, uh, what it caused, so. Hey, Cap, hope you're well. Isaac, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Apparently there's a switch on one of the back of the seats and the FA accidentally pushed the switch. Correct. Yeah, there is. Like, I, I know that there is. You can, from the time that I was in the seven, the guy was showing when Schmidt and I went in, there's a switch. I don't know exactly where it is, but there's a little switch. Um, let's go ahead and start our descent down, or get planning for our descent down. Um, what are we intercepting at? We're going to be at Uviva for 3,000. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take this down to 3,000, chat. Good. 3,000 is in. I thought they said there was a toggle switch at the back of the headrest that she actually did. There was. There was a switch on the back of the seat. I don't know exactly where the switch is located, but yes, you are correct. There was a switch on the back of the seat, and she accidentally hit it, and the pilot, captain, 
was basically pushed forward into the controls like that. Like he was sitting in his seat like this, she hit the switch, his body went forward into the controls and basically nose downed the aircraft very quickly and violently. Do you know what you will eat uh, for dinner tonight? Yes, I do know. Full roast, full roast dinner. My family is uh, of very British descent. Like my grandparents were heavy, heavy English accent. So we do when we when we get together on Sundays. It's usually a full roast dinner. Usually, the pilot. His name wasn't Dan, is it? <laughs> Yes, it was. Blame Dan. <laughs> there were some G-forces then. Uh, it was uh, a torturized... I don't know, man. Yeah, would have been brutal. Boeing uh, is in the eye of the storm. Recently, United switched its orders from the Max 10 and Max 9 and are also considering buying more E321 Neos. It's crazy, man. Yeah. I wouldn't say that, Flight 001. I feel like it's very, like, comfort food, right? A full roast dinner, that's comfort food, man. That's like, you know, that'll just make you feel good. Same as, like, fish and chips, right? A proper beer batter fish and chips. It'll just make you feel good. It's feel-good food. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best cuisine in the world. It's feel-good food. It's a great cuisine, but... Blame Dan. What happened? Uh, last week, there was a Latam Airways A3... Sorry, uh, 787 that uh, lost a ton of altitude. I don't know. I don't. Well, do we know what ended up being how much altitude they lost? I don't know how many... Uh, I'm not quite sure how much they lost, but they lost quite a bit of altitude very suddenly. And... Uh, that was the reasoning why people were making the assumption that the aircraft was having issues there was a new problem with the 787 but thankfully there's not they lost 800 feet okay well that's not too much but I'm sure it happened like that right which would be a little bit more startling speaking of English food have you ever heard of toad in a hole Jamie mentioned it on a stream and it looks delicious. Toad in a hole. Uh, I haven't, but it's probably something to do with what? Like some type of sausage baked around something with an egg on top or something like that? Heard that the captain told the passengers that the screen went blank. Yeah, who knows, man. I'm barbecuing lamb chops in the rain in the Netherlands. Don't ask me how. Ooh. Gotta be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of lamb chops. Lamb doesn't do it for me. I don't know why. I've, I've, I've attempted it numerous times. I've really tried. It just doesn't do it for me. Cap, the approach is so nice. Keep it real time. It's so nice. Yes, we're going to keep it real time. We'll do like early morning for the next fight, but we're going to keep this real time on this fight. I mean, look at the sun right now. And we're in Norway, so it, it, the sun gets a little bit lower. It's, it's, it's cool, man, how Norway is. It's just so beautiful. Norway is a great place to fly. Five guys uh, would slap. Five guys is good. Yeah. Grabbing some Culver's today. Sounds too good not to. I've never had Culver's. Toad in the hole is sausage and batter. Got you. Okay. Hello from Fountain Hills, Arizona. Helen, good to see you. Welcome back. Lamb is very gamey. Yes. Yeah. I can't get over it. I can't. Uh, it has that... That that certain taste that I just cannot get over. Gaminess, yes. I would, I would agree that that's probably what it is. But yeah. You ever had Hot Dave's Chicken? I did. I did in California. I just had it this year, actually. Well, last year, technically. I was just in Norway last month for work. Very cool, Evan. How was it? How was Daisy today? She's good, Mike. Thanks for asking. She's excited. She gets to go see, uh, gets to go see my mom's dogs after. She's their little, the little pack. Too much delicious chicken, beef, seafood uh, for me to eat lamb. I agree with that one. Yeah. Dave's hot chicken was good. Uh, I ate it too late at night and I ate too much of it. That was the problem. 
Okay, if you saw the new streamer on the block giving away self-made tiller on a stream yesterday, uh, I did. He's in stream all the time. CST Gaming. Yeah. He's a cool dude, man. Cool guy. Flight Sim stream went uh, to a food stream. It usually happens that way. <laughs> if you've never watched one of my streams, this is usually usually what happens. We usually come in here and talk about food and how much food we want. You ever read Wingstop? I have. Yes. We have Wingstop up here as well. So, yeah. I have had Wingstop. Wingstop is good. Good wings. Much better wings. Obviously, like a mom and pop shop selling some wings is probably going to be better, but... Again, if you log on now, you should be all right. The separation-wise, you're between 461 and 255. All right. I'm logging on. We're back on. Who am I going to be with? Which controller? I don't want to be with him. What controller should I be with? Thor, do you know what controller I should be with? Uh, Enal Approach, 129325, maybe? 129325. I think that's who I'm supposed to be with. What about barbecue ribs? Yeah. Barbecue ribs slaps. Yeah. You made a grilled roast beef and cheese sandwich last night. So good. Ooh. Does sound good. Chat, look at some of the terrain out here. Just fjords and mountains. and It's such a cool place to fly. Love flying in Norway, man. Do you know what I really want to get this year, chat? One of those Umi. Is it Umi or Uni? Pizza ovens. You know those stainless steel pizza oven? I think it's propane. I think it's hooked up through propane. Gets up to like a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I want to buy. That's going to be my next purchase, I think. I want one of those things so bad. An uni. I think they're called unis. Flying on a Max 8 uh, this Friday, Newark to Jacksonville. Nice. Enjoy the ride, man. Contact 1855. 1855. Okay, we'll call them. 1855 Polaris Control. Polaris Control, good uh, evening. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha just back after the servers went down. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha Polaris, hello. Turn right, setting 360 all vectors for spacing. Descend slide level 120. Right, right turn 360 for spacing and we'll descend 120. Um, Nordic for golf often. Cap Canada is back. <laughs> Cap even one three two six. One two zero. All right, descend twelve thousand. We're already we're already getting vectors. I'm already regretting logging back on. It's okay. We'll be fine. Hopefully not. No, no crazy vectors here. A little bit of a right turn three sixty. Sorry, can you repeat the speed, please? I DM'd you something. If you could look at it after stream, sounds good. You were uh, seeing the TFDI for MD11. Really nice how they spell uh, out the development. Yes. I am uh, I just signed an NDA with them, Evan. So I should be getting the aircraft soon. 250 knots. Nordic uh, 4 Golf Alpha. 250 knots for us, chat. 250. New England Base Assassin coming in with the seven months. Appreciate you, my friends. So seven months. It's been a hell of a ride as always, man. Thanks for letting me uh, sane in the colder months uh, with your awesome streams. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind of you. Awesome views. Is there any add-ons for this? Nah, man. This is just Microsoft Flight Sim, dude. This is the beauty of this simulator. Left turn 275. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. 275 for us on the heading. Scan driver 1326, speed 260 knots. 260 knots, scan Beautiful down there, man. I was going to say, we made you sane with our streams. I knew exactly what you mean. Thank you for the support, man. Seven months. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. All right, what's planned for an arrival speed? Looking like it's going to be about 154 current winds. 154. Ray, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm 
very excited for this arrival. Should be a beautiful arrival, man. Uh, Captain Diaz, my man, 42 months. Holy macaroni. Six months away from four years, dude. Proceed direct Alpha Lima 804 for uh, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha report speed to approach 129 or decimal 325. Good evening. Report speed 129 or 325. Thanks for the accommodation. We'll see you soon. Nordic uh, 4 Golf Alpha. Alright, 129, 325, good. We are back in Elnav direct. And we're reporting. What do you expect? PMDG 737 max. Probably within a couple months. Within a couple months, I think we'll see it. Probably like four months ish. Allison approach, good uh, evening again, Nor. Uh, sorry, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Uh, speed 250. Nordic 4 Golf Alpha, Nordic approach, good evening. Information Golf, expect RMP Zulu, from base 06, descend, flight level 8, Sierra. Expect RNP Zulu, or runway 6, we'll descend 80. We have Golf. Uh, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha. Heavy Equation, five months, is ready for the 777. Yes. Yes, I am. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you for the support. Appreciate you, dude. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I have an uni. I really recommend getting a larger oven, the one with both propane and wood, because it's easier to make a thinner dough. You don't want toppings cooking before your dough. Correct. I agree with you on that one. Okay. When do you expect... Sorry, I got that one. Uh, the sunset, ah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at, like, the way the sun comes through the clouds and reflects off some of, like, the mountain tops and stuff like that. Again, the way that this simulator is presented and the views that you see in this simulator are breathtaking. There's no other word for it, man. It's just mind boggling how beautiful it is. Cap, is there a good tutorial on how to use Microsoft Add-on Linker? I'm sure there is. Uh, on the RMP, I, uh, I don't uh, know North if I'd be able to link you to it, but I'm sure there is. Scan driven 255. Good evening. Descent flight 90. Expect RMP Sulu. Runway 06. Descent 90. Expect 90. Runway 06. Runway 06. Welcome, welcome. Look at those views out there, man. Look at how incredible this looks. Absolutely beautiful. Nordic 738, speed 180, zero 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 is there a passenger seat view where you can pick first class and economy and look around? Uh, I mean, you can. There is a cabin. Yeah, you can go into the cabin if you want. This is a single class layout? But yeah, you can. Uh, 1016 on the QNH. Nordic 738, contact tower 118 decimal 1. Contact tower 118 decimal 1, Nordic 738. Nordic 461 confirmed descending, 5000 feet, Don QNH 1016. Descending 5000, Nordic 461. Alright, 10,000 feet, landing lights are on, start switches are on, seatbelt signs are on. on. Descent 7000 feet, QNH 1016. 7,000 feet, 1016, Nordic for Gulf Alpha. Is there some ops into Porto? Into Spain? Or Portugal? Porto, Portugal. Tell you, man, flying up here in, in Norway is so underrated. There's so many little cool airports and like hour long flights that you can take in Norway. It's incredible. More approach, good evening, Scandinavian. Uh, one three two six, descending one two zero. 
Uh, this is a Paywar airport. This is a uh, Orbex airport. Tromso is sick. <clears throat> there's uh, fucking what else is there? There's there's. Uh, what are some other cool ass cities? There's Stavanger. There's Bergen. Um, there's uh, Trondheim. There's Tromso. You can go all the way up here too, like go crazy. Go up into here. Bodo. We've been to all these airports. It's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. We're getting rocked around right now, chat. Gap, how many terabytes of dedicated for scenery? Uh, like two and a half now, two and a half, three. Gap, your chance to see a few gameplay snapshots of the PMD Triple Seven FS Weekend looks pretty incredible. Nice, very cool. Probably starting to get comfortable with the Felix Seven Four. Might have to. Six thousand one hundred uh, Nordic for golf level. What does the airport look like if it isn't payware? Yeah, pretty different. Not very good. Chat, in the... Do I arm approach for RNAVs in this aircraft? I can't remember. Is it similar to, like, the Airbus? You just arm approach button, and it'll fly the RNAV approach down to... Speaking of minimums, I uh, should probably get that in here. Uh, minimums are 600. We are getting bumped around like crazy. 600. Nordic 461, speed 200 knots or greater. 200 or greater, Nordic 461. Alright, we'll go standard. 1016. Don't forget even S. So many. So many. I thought we would go to Bergen, but and then I remembered that I had the Allison scenery from Orbex. This airport's just This airport's so look at that view right there. <clears throat> the sun setting off the ocean like that. With the snow capped mountains behind us. Some of the fjords. Fjords. Norway's badass, man. Norway is a badass place. I'd love to fly here, man, and just go to like all these different different airports. It'd be incredible. It would be incredible. Think a 4070 with a 12600K will run it well. Uh, yes. Yeah. Especially with frame gen on that one. Can you do some trends avia? We did some trends avia not that long ago, Wyatt. Yeah, cool livery looks good. Definitely bumpy out there. Look at the wingtip going on. Osprey 932, Mur approach, good evening. Descent, flight level minor zero. Expect RP Zulu, runway zero six. Look at all like, the little cities and stuff down there. Rubik 461, contact tower 118, decimal one. Let's make sure we've got 18-1 set up here in our secondary, which we do. speed 200 knots. Speed 200 knots in order to uh, for golf alpha. Right, speed 200. Have a 12400F and a 3060. It runs fine on Ultra. There you go. Remember, you do not need to run the simulator on Ultra for it to look good. This is on high end, high end preset. And I would argue that the simulator looks absolutely fantastic. So just remember that. You can always save a little performance by bumping some things down. You do not need to run this simulator at Ultra for it to look its best. Um, High-end preset, clouds on ultra, maybe a couple other things. Looks great. Bushes on low, yes. 
Uh, when are you anticipating the PMDG 777? I would say halfway through April, towards the end of April, halfway through April. Pops one. The aircraft is doing a really bad job at maintaining 6,100 feet for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I think it was through the turn. We're well above profile as well. Which is the aircraft profile. Running uh, for Gulf Alpha, confirm you're descending with the RMP East Team clear sight to the above profile. Yep, I didn't remember getting clearance for the RMP. I just was told to descend 6100, but we'll descend now. Nordic uh, for Gulf Alpha. Yeah, Nordic for Gulf Alpha, that's my apologies. Uh, yeah, let me know if you would like vectors for a new approach and I'll uh, have that fixed for you. Okay, we're doing a little bit of a dive bomb now. We'll see if we can get down Nordic uh, for Gulf Alpha. I put the ground spoilers out. <laughs> this one's going to be rough, chat. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one. It's trying to get us back down onto profile. We'll see if it'll do it. We might be able to get it. Just got to be careful of our speed. We shall see. I think we should be good. Okay, now it's back on glide path. We'll see what it does. We're slightly over speeding 2500 feet should pull itself out of that now I'm gonna pull my speed all the way back approach speed was 154 118 decimal one Nordic for Gulf Alpha No, we just have 38 signing off. Have a good evening, sir. Pop 5. Tower Hello, Nordic 4 Golf Alpha, final 06. We'll be fine, Jack. We'll survive. Hello, Fighting Speed there. Here's 6 wind. Turn on your gates, 4 knots. Okay, chat. We will survive. No problem. We're still going a little bit quick. Uh, we're vacating to the right. I'm going to put auto brake to max now. I'm also going to go flaps 15 degrees. And we have been cleared to land, so we're going to get all of our lights on. Good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We coming in hot. No cams on. Enjoy the arrival, friends. My airplane. Approaching minimum. Yeah, we're 6-1, welcome to Vega, uh, thank you, I'm not going to Continue. Ground spoilers armed, flaps 30, look at that chat, we're good to go. We'll just dive bomb it in now just a little bit, get back on track. 300. Gently. Decelerating. Reverser stowed 60 knots. Uh, no problem, chat. See, told you. Hello, we made it, chat. Going down to Alpha. Kind of worked out, you know? Wait uh, <laughs> till Facebook sees this. Oh, man. Hey, a little bit of a risky approach, chat, but we did it. It's all that matters, all right? We did it. God bless the upslope. That was uh, gnarly. A little bit gnarly. But that's okay. We did it. 
big gate to the right. I have no clue where he's going to send us to park, but there we go. It was definitely uphill. That's why, the, that's why it was a smooth landing, but we also landed on an uphill. That's why it was. Alpha stand of choice, uh, Nordic Four Golf Alpha. All right, wing view, clean everything up, flaps, spoilers, good. Uh, I have no clue what stand is available, so we're just going to go to whatever stand is available up here. Um, let's go landing lights off, runway turn offs off, APU is spooling, engine start switches are off, strobe lights off, wing lights off, and we are looking good. We'll stop our flight time, 46 minutes, even with a little vector. 46 minutes, chat. It's like you planned that. <laughs> I don't. I don't ever remember the controller telling me to descend to the glide path. He told me to descend 6,100 feet. I don't ever remember him saying descend via the glide path, and that kind of messed everything up. But again, kind of just last minute. Fuck it. There's just way too much traffic. I didn't want to have to send us on a go around either. It's fine, right? We got it down. We're Go safe. Um, I don't know what parking stand this is, but it looks like they left me this nice open stand right here. So let's go to that one. 16. Is GSX going to even have that in here? Let's see. Uh, gate and 16. No. And we'll go with Norwegian. Good. <clears throat> and they're waiting for us at the gate. Where they were. I don't know what happened to them. Okay, it looks like GSX has broken itself, no problem. Okay. Go restart it. Replay, please, no replay of that one. We're doing the return flight. So there is no replay, unfortunately. Uh, GSX is not happy. Cap hit the five mile final at 250, slowed it up to approach speed at 500 feet, then hit us with a minus five. What a day to be alive, baby Lamau PSFU Facebook. <laughs> oh man, JJ, drop of the $5 donation. <laughs> thank you very much, JJ. Appreciate you, my man. Huge don't float these two, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was, uh, yeah, I guess we just maybe we have to take our approaches going a little bit more like that, you know? Who knows? It was a pretty good one, man. Just gotta stay calm the whole time. That's it. Stay calm. Nothing's gonna happen. We're all good. We ain't doing it in real life, Chad. Everything's fine. APU gens are on. APU bleed is on. Isolation valve is open. Engine number two is off. Engine number one is off. Uh, Anti-collision light is off. Electric pumps are off. Hydro pumps. Probe heats are off. Seatbelt signs are off as well. Fuel pumps are off. Yaw damper is off. Flip this over to EPU Gens. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Alessand. GSX should request deboarding now. We're going to go with the Norwegian Air Shuttle. Good. And I left one of the lights on. Apologize. There we go. We'll do that. Beautiful. There we go. Cool. Sweet. I would say, chat, that that was, despite some of the issues that we had, that was actually pretty decent. We pulled that one off. Thank God. That could, have been, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. Nice smooth landing though. I mean, flew it right down into the ground. Wasn't too floaty. A little bit floaty, but I think that was just more so. We had a very uh, high energy approach coming in there. Because we were trying to bleed off as much speed before getting to very short final. Got us a little bit above profile. We were four white there. Um, by the time we had minimums, we were three, three white, one red. Um, so a little bit of high energy coming up on the approach. So obviously you're going to, that flare out's going to cause a little bit. I cut the power a little bit early as well. And I think that helped with a little bit minimal float. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, obviously again, not, not the most <clears throat> ideal situation to be put into. But uh, regardless, I feel like we made the best of that opportunity. I, I definitely don't think it was a minus five landing. I'm going to be the first one to tell you I don't think that's the case. But uh, at the same point, it was still a great landing. I'm not going to take anything away from that one. It was uh, a good landing. But um, yeah, again, I always say take these, 
take these uh, um, take these landing rate calculators with a grain of salt. If I'm being 100% honest with you, because you again, they're not you're not really looking at that. It's just it, the landing rate is more there for um, us to interact with something, right? To have something that we can kind of interact with and and, and, uh, and review. Although they may not be the most accurate out there, that's pretty much all that we have as far as like landing rate tools and stuff. But it was a good one, regardless. Yeah, zero nine zero on the G it was smooth, that's for sure. Yeah, it was definitely smooth, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, let's go with a. Uh, okay, passengers are deboarding now. I don't know where they're going, but they're deboarding. I don't know if there's a bus or a truck or something that comes out, but um, that's all done. That's all done. We've got a whopping 168 passengers on the return flight. I'm going to send that off on to um, Sim Brief over to VATSIM, file our flight plan. So that's all done and ready to go. I believe it's actually. Oh, we have to stop our. Uh, stop our block time. That's probably a little bit better now because we were a little bit late starting that. 56 minutes block time, 46 minutes on the flight time. I feel like that's pretty correct. Yes. Uh, file off our flight plan. Good. That has been filed off. Let's go ahead and disconnect and reconnect here quickly to the network with our new call sign, One Hotel Charlie. Uh, good. We'll connect. Good. That is done. That is set. Beautiful. Um... We will jump inside the air. Are they going to... I guess it is a bus here. Would be, It probably would be. Does anybody know, would it actually be a bus here to deboard and onboard the passengers? Curious to think... Uh, curious to know what you guys... If any of you know if you deboard via a bus or something like that. Um, passengers running down the taxiway. When the landing gives you lemons, make a margarita. It is... You know, I know, but I'm just saying, is it a bus in real life? Has anybody flown into here in real life? Do you actually get onto a bus? Uh, I'm maybe guessing some of these other parking gates down here, maybe. You don't have to deboard via a, via bus, but, uh, yeah. You just walked in when you were there? Okay, got you. Remember, guys, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button if you are enjoying the content. We are doing the return flight. <clears throat> uh, everything has been filed. So we're actually going to get our clearance. Um, we'll go ahead and get our clearance now. We'll let them know that we've got ADIS information. What is it? ADIS uh, information hotel. ADIS hotel. And we're going to be departing out of Bodo, and it's going to be the GG2 Echo departure, is what we would assume that we're going to be getting. So we'll go ahead and request that now. I'll get some tunes bumping here on the, in the background. Uh, we're Tower, right? Tower, hello again. Uh, Nordic One Hotel, Charlie Adis Hotel, IFR, back to Oslo, please. Don't forget your mic, Jack. Nordic One Hotel, Charlie, Vega Tower, hello again. Clear to guard one by the gate to echo the march initially 6,000 feet, clock 3405. Right, Nordic One Hotel Charlie cleared back to Oslo GG2 Echo Departure Initial Climb 6000 Squawk 3405. Nordic One Hotel Charlie, read back, yeah, correct. Beautiful, read back is correct. Let's start programming some stuff. Chats, go to our electronic flight bag. We're going to request new data from Simbrief. Good, there's the return flight. We'll come back down here. I guess we're going to keep it real time. I'm assuming you guys would like to keep it real time so we'll get a nice evening arrival back into Oslo. Uh, we are flying back to Oslo. Yes, that is the plan right now, my friend. You got it. Let's go to our route tab. We're going to do flight plan request. Uh, route request. We're going to go set payload. Good. We're going to set fuel. Good. We're going to go to select route. Good. E now back to ENGM. North Shuttle 1 Hotel Charlie is all correct there as well. Beautiful. Fun fact, Bodo is pronounced like Buddha. Is it really? Hmm. Welcome to Buddha. Let's go ahead and load our flight plan route. Again, give it about 5 or 10 seconds to run through the uplink. About two and a half months without smokes feeling good. Nice, dude. Congratulations, Wayward. Congratulations, man. 
I really noticed, like, for me, it was like six months and a year. That's when, like, I really started to notice, like, wow, okay. I don't get winded walking upstairs anymore and stuff like that, you know? Um, okay, flight plan is in there. Everything looks great. Let's go to our departure page. We are planning for the GG2 Echo um, departure. So there it is there, the GG2 Echo out of runway 6. Execute that. Beautiful arrivals. Uh, I don't know which way we're going to plan for the arrival into... Um, let me unload this first. We'll do that. Bring that in. Um, I don't know which arrival they probably want us back on one right i would think maybe uh what's the weather doing adis we do have vats i'm also got them on arrival information sierra expect ils or rmp approach runway one left or one right transition level 8000 met report winds variable at two knots comic conditions uh okay so uh, based on our arrival i'm assuming we're gonna get one left <clears throat> we may have to from valpu one left from valpu so we go to ENGM, we go to approach, we go to the ILS one left, we execute that. There's Valpu. I'm assuming that's what we're going to get, so that's what we're going to plan. Um, so the arrival again was the Belg 3 Lima. Belg 3 Lima. We're going to plan for the ILS one, and we'll take it from Valpu, and we'll go ahead and execute that. Good. We'll scroll through our flight plan. No discontinuities. Everything looks good there. We'll go to our NIT ref, we'll plug in some numbers. 60.6 .6. fuel burn we're gonna go 6.2 reserves we're gonna go two cost index we're gonna go i think it was 50 on the cost index up here yeah 50 on the cost index we'll select that good we'll do our perfinite request we'll fill that out we'll let the aircraft figure that out uh we do have our cruise altitudes or what we're expecting which was 310 um so we'll go 310 on that we'll execute that good we'll load that we'll execute that good We'll execute again. Uh, sorry, 310 needs to go in here. Erase. Did I just brick this? I think I broke the airplane. I've been having this issue recently with the... I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, it literally won't let me do anything. Can I work on the secondary one? No. So, you see how the aircraft is completely, like, it just bricked itself. It had been doing that. We're going to have to reload the aircraft jet, unfortunately. Um, it did this to me after the update. Uh, for whatever reason, if you put in your, if you put in your, um... they still haven't put in where you, you can fix that so uh we're gonna have to go to main menu and we're gonna have to load back in here hopefully hopefully we don't lose our spot where we we're on the ground coming from e now you'll be likely to get one left that'll be a shorter taxi for the domestic gates correct thank you thor thank you thank you thank you had that yesterday man can't click anything yeah so this is a new bug that seems to be introduced i've never had that bug before uh it seems to only happen when you do the um, when you do the, the perfinit request though, uh, the, on the performance page, the init page where it grabs like your cruise altitude and your, yeah. So this is a new bug. I feel like this is a new one that's come out because it, it, it never used to do this before. What happened? Uh, the FMC, the, the, the. FMC froze up. Yeah. Just died. Uh, done a full reinstall. Thought it was a bug. Was fixed. Hmm. I mean, you found that turning TARA off doesn't get me crashes. Well, they fixed the TARA bug. You shouldn't have that bug any longer. That one has since been fixed, but um, something's still going on here with, with this one. So we'll just load up here again. Go to 16 where we were. Go live time, live weather, fly. Load back into the sim. And it looks like I may need to quit the entire simulator because uh, the FMC just reloaded the way that it did. We'll see if it clears itself out, but 
currently it's stuck on the same one. Wasn't well, just an FMC, all click spots stopped working, ready to push back was a bummer. Yeah, and nothing was working there. Nothing was working. All the click spots stopped working. So there's definitely another bug to be had here. Now we'll see if this fixes it. We're loading back in. We'll see if I can uh, manipulate some things up top. It looks like I can. Okay, so we should be good. We'll get ground power on. Let me reconnect to Vatsim. Pause you. Good, back, good. All right, we should be back on Vatsim now. Everything should be going. We should be FMC, pausing it. Okay, good. Everything's good there. Okay, we should be good. Uh, get some panel brightness. Let's get some dome lights. Good. All right, let's get a deers. Left side, right side. Good. Get all that ready. Um, let's go to GSX. We're going to Simbrief OK. GSX, request boarding. Norwegian Air Shuttle. Okay, now the fun begins. We'll set up the aircraft again here quickly for you guys. We didn't really lose much. We hadn't even started the boarding process, so we didn't really lose much by having to do that. Just a pain in the ass. I'm gonna know that for next time. I'm not gonna touch anything after I do the uh, after I do the init. I will not touch anything. Get everything turned back on the way we like it. Good. You're on, that's good. Window heat is on. Adir's left side, right side, that's all done. Fuel pumps, good. We're going to 31,000 feet, so we'll bug up 310. Isolation valve open, all of that looks good. All right, cool. Um, I have to do this, bear with me for a second. Everybody's already on board, so we won't do that, good. There we go. Banner should be updated as well. Wonderful. Um, let's come down here, enter IRS position, grab our left GPS, scroll that into there. Good. Go to route. Flight plan request. Definitely should be in there. Not quite sure. Oh, because I didn't do it in here. Durr. Um, there we go. Come back down here. Flight plan request. There it is. Select that one. did it again. Yeah, nothing's working. All right, we need to do a full restart of the simulator chat. I'm going to throw it to the be right back screen. I really do apologize about this. It literally just did it again. I clicked one button on the FMC and it caused it again. So I'm going to restart the entire simulator and uh, I will be right back.
All right, we should be good friends. We should be back. Hopefully everything works. Quick little reload. People are already departing because we've been already so delayed. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump inside the aircraft. We'll get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll back into Oslo. Fingers crossed, no more issues with the airplane. Ground power, and, sorry, battery switch is in the on position. Ground power comes on as well. There comes the aircraft to life. Get some panel brightness up on this guy. Good. We'll get the dome lights on here as well. Get our deers left side over to nav, right side over to nav. Good. Fuel pumps can come on. Everything else looks good over here. Emergency exit are armed no smoking to the auto position ground uh sorry window heat is on probe heats and hydro pumps will stay off for now uh 31 000 feet set in our pressurization panel we'll have a quick little look see here and see what the arrival airport elevation is as well 681 feet 681 so we'll just go 700 and we'll get our logo lights on good uh gsx should be boarding GSX is broken. We probably won't use GSX then. Let me just restart the Kutal script. I don't know what's going on with GSX. It's obviously not happy about this airport. It, uh, I don't know why. Yes, the Kutal crashed. Uh, import from Simbrief. Good. We'll come down here. We'll plug in some information on this guy. Uh, let me get some brightness up on some screens and get some stuff going here first. Let's see what we're doing. Good. Down here. Panel brightness, good. All right, cool. Uh, let's go to FMC, pause in it. Next page, grab our left GPS, scroll back. We'll set that. We'll go to our route tab. Flight plan request, set payload, set fuel, select route, we'll leave that the way that it is now. Cool. Um, let's go to the overhead. I think we still have ETC online. Uh, tower 18-1, we'll tune to him. Our, fr our clearance should be still fine. I don't think we need to call for clearance or anything like that again, so we'll just leave that on tower frequency. I think we've got still some people here beside us. Yep. Um, all right, come down. We'll load our flight plan. Good. Don't touch anything. How do you set elevation? What do you mean, how do you set elevation? You, you just watched how I did it, correct? Yeah. Activate and execute. Good. Departures. It was the GG2 Echo out of six. Execute that. Good. Arrivals. We were planning for the... Uh, Belge, I think it was 3 Mike, wasn't it? Uh, yes, no, Belge 3 Lima. Uh, and we're going to expect the ILS 1 left from Valpu, and we'll execute that. Beautiful. Cool. That should be all in there. Back to our NITRAF. Let's plug in some numbers. 60.6, 6.2, reserves 2, cost index 50. Good. I'm going to do our perfinit request, and then I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to come back over here. And set this to 1016. That is set. Flip you over 1016. And then our backup should be 1016 as well. Good. Cool. And that brightness down so we can actually see it. Wonderful. Good. Uh, initial climb was 6,000 feet. And we'll bug up heading of 060 here for departure. Good. Cool. Uh, we'll load our perfs. And we'll execute that. Good. Uh, 31,000. That's all correct. Transition altitude is 7,000 feet. Beautiful. Everything looks good there. Go to our N1 limits here today. And then we'll go back to the electronic flight bag. Punch in some numbers over here. So we'll go to performance tools. We are departing out of runway 6. We're going to import from aircraft. Flip that over to kilograms. Import the live weather. Flip that over to hectopascals. And we'll calculate our V speeds. So uh, N1 percentage 91.4 is what we're looking at. Uh, and we're going with a cell temp of 46 degrees. So we'll bug up 46 degrees. Good. Go to our takeoff page. Flaps will be 5 degrees. CG weight was 19.4, which was all correct. 19.4. Good. Uh, and then we've got our V speeds, which was 39, 41, 47. 39, 41, 47. Beautiful. Everything looks good there. Great. Uh, let's go to the overhead. We're not going to do GSX boarding. We're just going to pretend that the aircraft is boarded. We've already wasted enough time. So we're going to go APU, 
uh, to the start position. Uh, and then we just need our squat code, which we should have in here, 3405. 3405. We'll turn that on and reporting. Uh, beautiful. Cool. So we should be pushing back here in a second, chat. Get ready to go. What are my sensitivities for the Boeing yoke? Um, you don't have to repeat yourself over and over and over and over and over again, man. I'm, I'm obviously busy trying to set up the aircraft. You're copy-pasting it and just putting it into chat. Um, the sensitivities that I'm running right now for this aircraft are on my pitch axis. Minus 30, minus 30, 2% dead zone, 15% reactivity. Rudder pedal sensitivities, again, that's going to be whatever you prefer using. My rudder pedal sensitivities, I believe that we're using minus 30, minus 30... 100% reactivity, 1% dead zone. I'm doing well, Ben. How are you, man? Good to see you. Welcome back. Hope all's well. Okay, APU should be on and available, which it is. APU Gen comes on. APU Bleeds come on. Uh, we'll get our hydro pumps on. We'll go to GSX. We'll prepare for pushback and departure. Good. And we'll come down here, make sure that the park brake is set. Wonderful. We'll remove the wheel chocks. Good. Norwegian Air Shuttle. Good. They should be removing the... Um, the services. Yeah, should be disconnecting the ground power. Good. Hey, Gap, how long does it take you to set up for a stream? Mm, depends. Depends. Usually I'm sitting at my PC. If we go live at noon, I'm usually sitting at my, my PC about an hour before stream. About 11 a.m. 10 45 11 a.m I'm usually sitting here getting flight plan ready call signs uh filing loading the simulator making sure everything's working correctly stream pc gets fired up make sure everything's working and yeah hey cap what is the best leads brad for in your opinion any builds or orbex uh, any builds usually gets this usually gets the slight uh nudge of of better scenery yeah Cap, what do you have the time set to? I thought it was real time. Uh, apparently it's not real time. There you go. There's real time. So we're just missed sunset. Still looks pretty nice. What do you say your favorite European scenery is? Thinking about grabbing a new Barcelona. Ooh, Tom, I don't, I don't know if I could give you one, man. There's so many great sceneries. So many great sceneries. I don't know if I could just pick one, to be honest with you. Guard hello again, Nordic 1, Hotel Charlie, ready for push and start, stand 1-6. Nordic 1, Hotel Charlie, good thing everything sold out. Push and approve, QNH, show 1016. Push and approve, 1016, thanks, Nordic uh, 1, Hotel Charlie. Alright, we're gonna go one, one, tail left. Release, parking brakes. Good, park brake is released. Commencing push. Beautiful. All engines clear. We'll start, start our block time. There we go. We're starting to move. Block time comes on. Good. And upstairs, engine bleed is on. Uh, packs are off. Fuel pumps are on. And we are good to go. Engine number two over to ground. Since when are you not a big fan of Orbex? They sponsor you. It's not that I'm not a big fan of Orbex. It's just that somebody asked me which scenery was better. Do you want me to give you my honest opinion? Or do you want me to lie? Because... Orbex is a sponsor of the channel. Both of them are sponsors to the channel. Orbex and any builds. I didn't I didn't just say that Orbex like isn't any good. I just was giving you my honest opinion of, of what which scenery I think is better for Leeds Bradford. And I think that the any builds lead Bradford is better than the Orbex version. Doesn't mean that I'm <laughs> Stick off and you'll see how beautiful it is. Hopefully, man. Yeah, hopefully. Ecap, how do you install the RTX mod? I'm a little bit confused. You just got to read the instructions, man. I'm sure there's some tutorials online, Dennis. I wouldn't be able to to help you any any better than the instructions that come with the actual mod itself. You must spend a lot on these airports to have the scenery you've got loads. Uh, yes, you also have to remember I'm, I'm sponsored by a lot of these companies as well. 
So, like, I'm sponsored by Orbex, so I usually don't pay for scenery from Orbex. I'm sponsored by any build, so I usually don't pay for scenery from any builds as well. Um, I do buy a fair lot of scenery as well, but for the most part, uh, a lot of the scenery that you see me flying into is is sponsored. It's it's I have it because I'm supposed to be promoting it to you guys. Yo, Cap, this is a keyboard test. I'm not sure if it's working. Nice. Big Cap. Big Cap on that keyboard test. Park brake is set. Engine number one over to ground. What do you think about the Superjet from Headwind? Uh, the Sukhoi Superjet? Not very good. Not very good at all. Introduce fuel number one. Okay, I'm nice to see you find my home country of Norway. Sanders, good to see you, my friend. It is a beautiful country, man. The flight into here was just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. When do you expect the 380? I don't know, man. Six months or so? I don't know. You said x is finally fixing the anti-aliasing. Only took over a year since x 12 release. The anti-aliasing has been broken for 10 years. So I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. 9685 flyer they've they've also saying that they've going to been fixing it for like the last six years so we'll see you still flying pilot edge i do yeah um sean good to see you my friend welcome back hope we're doing well as well good to see you mate all right we got two good engines i'm not going to keep that aircraft behind me waiting so let's go engine gen engine gen yaw dampers probe heats flap set position five thirty-one thousand set and checked hacks auto isolation valve auto APU bleed off, APU off, start switch is continuous, that should have been on, and we'll put this to dim for now, and then we'll get our taxi. Tower Nordic, uh, one hotel Charlie ready, taxi runway 06. Nordic one hotel Charlie, taxi holding point Delta via Alpha. Delta via Alpha, uh, Nordic one hotel Charlie. Holding point Delta via Alpha, park brake comes off, let's do it. We've got the aircraft right here, taxiing in behind us. We're going to move for him now. Somebody's sitting there with their strobes at the... Whoever the Scandinavian is, you're sitting with your strobes on. Clear the takeoff. All right, chat. Finally moving. Holy macaroni. Thank you for the patience, guys. I don't know what the hell was going on. We should have just restarted the sim after the first time it did that, but... You know, we had to hope that we could do the, the quick little Can fix and not have to restart everything. But Continue approach. We're here, we're back, we're good. Uh, I gotta work on some things here. 147 on the V speed. I just wanted to move for that aircraft behind us. Uh, auto brake has to go to RTO. 6000 is set. Flight director left side, flight director right side, auto throttle, V nav, L nav, good. What happened? Uh, the FMC froze up and I couldn't. Basically, the airplane froze up. It must be a new bug because I've never had that bug before. So, it must have been a new bug that has been introduced in the last sim update. All right, here's holding point Delta via Alpha. He's probably going to give us backtrack. Oh, he's going to get somebody to land. Beautiful. PMG also constantly freezes up for me since today. Yeah, it's uh, it's a new bug that's been introduced since the, the update that they've put out because that's never happened to me before either. CPT, I watched your stream yesterday. Siva slash silk slash silk. I so enjoyed that. Nice. I wanted you to do a flight like in a 737 so I could follow it and learn from on it. Thanks. Awesome. Star Triple Seven, thanks so much for your support, man. Appreciate you, dude. One Hotel Charlie. Behind the landing, Scandinavian A320, line up and wait behind runway 06, backtrack approved. Yeah, behind the landing aircraft, uh, line up and wait, backtrack approved, behind Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. Uh, you can just reload the plane using the dev mode and not reset the entire sim. Hmm, I didn't think about that. That's something, if it does that again, that's something that I'll try. I figured going into the main menu... And coming back into the simulator would be good enough for that, but yeah. 
Again, Star777, thank you for the support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Glad you enjoyed those videos. A lot of fun flying into Canada, man. I love flying into Kelowna, dude. Always uh, always a blast flying into there. We have an uh, aircraft coming in on arrival now. We'll be lining up right behind him. Sim Famous with a $5 donation. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you, dude. Dropping the five bones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind. I really do appreciate that. Thanks so much for your support. And remember, guys, if you haven't done so and you are enjoying the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. We've got one more um, flight today, and then obviously we're back live again tomorrow. Not entirely sure what I want to do tomorrow. I don't know if I want to do like a, a one long flight or like more like today. I kind of want to do more of like what we're doing today, to be honest with you. I'm thinking maybe we go Oslo to Bergen and then Bergen to somewhere else or something like that. Norway doesn't get enough love, and with these visuals and the way how beautiful this is, I feel like we need to stay in Norway tomorrow, chat. Do we all agree? Some more Norway flying tomorrow. I think that would be a lot of fun. I love going to Bergen, man. One of my favorite airports. Great freeware scenery as well. That was an absolute greaser. Absolute greaser. Nice landing by him. Cool. Park brakes coming off. It looked like a greaser anyways. Landing lights are on. Strobe lights on. Wing lights on. Let's go this guy, man. Have a great return flight. Thank you very much for the support, Sim Famous. I appreciate you, man. And then we've got Alex dropping another hundred and fifty dollar donation. Absolutely incredible, Alex. Thank you for the support, man. More importantly, congratulations, my friend. Absolutely awesome. Better than expected. We all knew you had it in you. Congrats, my friend. Enjoy the flight sim time now before you're married. Because you might be in trouble afterwards. Huge no floaties to you, Alex. Thank you for the support, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. And again, congratulations. Guys, quickens, please, please, please get some no floaties in chat for Alex. Not only the amount of support coming to the channel, but also getting engaged yesterday. Congratulations, my friend. No, because all bye the plane bye. load the sim start uh, not loading of the flight. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Six, six, uh, welcome to all the ships. Sit down and try to well. All right, uh, let's get over to the left side. Good. Trim value was five five. I need to set that. We fly the 380 when it comes out. Uh, I won't fly it a lot, but we will fly the 380. Everything went better than expected. Hey, good boys. My man, huge enough floaties to you again, Alex. Congratulations, dude, and thank you for the support. I will add your total up onto there. Just give me a second. Once we get airborne, I will switch around the the leaderboard for you, my friend. Thank you for the support, dude. Incredible, man. I'll get you up to their second spot as well. Do you have Bloom on? I think I have it off. I can't remember. Might have it on? Something, one of those ones I have turned off. I can't remember which one. Nordic One Hotel, Charlie, when 030 is for knots, runway 06, clear takeoff. Runway 06, cleared for takeoff, Nordic One Hotel, Charlie. Thank you. All right. Sorry. get ourselves lined up here. Tom, celebrating eight months. Appreciate you, Tom. Huge no floaties to you, man. It's a Sunday fun day with some Microsoft. An unbelievable sim experience. Long live a Sobo. It's an incredible sim, man. The beauty of this simulator is absolutely bananas. I do agree with you on that one. Alright, yo cam's coming on. Sorry for the delay, friends, but we're all lit up here, ready to go. I'm taking my shades off, too, so I can actually see what we're doing for this departure. Let's go throttles up to 40%. Let's go upstairs. Let's dim that light there. Good. Wonderful. All is looking good. Throttles are at 40 and steady. Chrono is on and toga. Let's go fly him, friends. Take off power set. Nose down pressure on the yoke. Your speed's alive. Thank you. Knots. Neutral.
One two zero four. Sorry, was it one two nine three two five? Thanks for wonderful ATC. We'll see you soon, my friend. Bye bye. One two nine three two five. Wonderful ATC out here. I was not expecting to get ATC out here today. So absolutely off. One two nine three two five. Let's go flaps up position one. Asset approach, good evening again, Nordic uh, 1 Hotel Charlie, 2,900, climbing 6,000. Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie, where approach identify the climb flight level 170, passing 4,500 feet, to see direct key gear. I will climb 17,000 and passing through 4,500, we will proceed direct uh, gear for Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. All right, beautiful. Making our right turn out now, passing through 4,500 feet. He wants us to go direct to Gigir. So we'll get that ready to go. All right, shades back on. Flight deck, autopilot. Legs, Gigir, direct, good, 17,000, altitude, One seven thousand. good, upstairs, dome light, good, runway turnoffs, wing lights, sorry, runway turnoffs and taxi lights can stay off, we'll leave wing lights on for now, this always looks good. Climbing up out of here. Beautiful. Looking damn good, chat. Finally back in Airborne. Only took us a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Through 7,000 feet, standard barrel. Standard barrel. Wonderful. Alison departure, very good evening. Frick Where are you? We just left Alison in Norway. Norway. That buzz saw. Do you say the 7.3 is more fun to fly than the 3.20? Depends. Really depends, man. Much more of a handful. I would agree with you on that one. Yeah, it really is. I would agree. All right, 10,000 feet, landing lights, wing lights. There we have it. Okay, Looking good. Hotel Charlie, contact Polaris Control, 121 55 one two one five five zero. Thanks for wonderful ATC. We'll see you soon, Nordic One Hotel Charlie. Five five zero for us. Nordic Control. One two one five five zero. Nordic. Uh, good evening, Nordic uh, One Hotel Charlie. One one thousand climbing one seven thousand. First, can you one 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 five when ready to descend flight level one two zero. When ready to descend flight level one two zero. Can you one 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 five. I want to try to put that control below. We should be on standard pressure. Climb flight level 310. 310. Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. 310. Correct. Good. 31,000 feet set and checked. And there we go. Climbing out. Out of the fjords. Jack, can I please roll the time back? I want to be able to watch it. I'm rolling the time back just a little bit. I want like I want like this type of. I want to be able to see. Look at how beautiful that is. We're just rolling it back. Shh, don't tell anybody. Tried using a VR headset with Microsoft yesterday. Quite an awesome feeling. Just wish my FPS would drop. Cleared for the uh, Belgian three Lima arrival. Nordic one hotel Charlie. Right, that's what we have planned. 
Yeah, this is so much nicer. I can actually see. Oh, three, nine, zero, seven, seven, one, zero. Thank you for it to see and have a good one. We want real world time, Bye. Cap. This is so much more beautiful, is it not? Uh, Henry, thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind. Really do appreciate that. Thanks so much. After I turn on the EPU and it's all good and I'm running, I turn off the ground power and it turns off the whole aircraft. Uh, are you making sure that you put your gens on? You have to put your APU gens on, and then you have to make sure that the ground power is disconnected. It sounds like what you're doing is you're forgetting to... Um, maybe forgetting to turn the gens on. Take the shades off, though. It'll help you see better. Hey! Where does no floaties come from? Man, it's been around forever on the channel. It's essentially a form of saying, like, good landing, good day, good afternoon, whatever, right? Like, no floaties. Don't don't float your landing, have a great landing. It's essentially where it started. No floaties. In California, I hope so, Tom. Yeah, the sun is setting right off, like, the wingtip like that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You thought it was a toilet joke? Nope. I can confirm it's not a toilet joke. As much as I think people would love for it to be a, a toilet joke, it's not. Uh, Captain Bubbles, three months as a first class member. Thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. Says, love the captain. Always having fun. Whether he's buttering the landing with a minus five or almost slamming us down in New York. Such a good time. <laughs> skill issue, really. Skill issue. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, dude. What flavor of vape? Uh, this is a THC vape. And uh, it is exotic gas is the flavor. The strain. Exotic gas. The gas is exotic. Thanks again, Cap Bubbles. Appreciate you, man. Three months. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind of you. Alison. Alison? Alison. That doesn't sound appetizing. Exotic gas? Yeah, it does. If you are a connoisseur of the stretchables, you will know that exotic gas sounds great. I think I'm sitting on a gold mine of that. Nice. The direct bionic. Alright, let's see what we can do tomorrow, chat. Uh, let's go to flight radar. Let's see out of uh, Bergen. Let's see Bergen. Departures, where can we go tomorrow? Oslo, Oslo, Stavanger, Trondheim, um, Oslo, 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 London, Oslo, Manchester, Copenhagen. No, we want to keep it... We want to keep it... How much? How long of a flight would it be up to Trondheim? That could be a great flight. Oh, okay, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going Oslo to Bergen, Bergen to Trondheim. Yes, Trondheim's the one right up here. That is a badass approach too. Especially in over the mountains and stuff like that. Alright, that's what we'll plan for tomorrow, chat. That's the plan for tomorrow. So we'll start back in Oslo, over here. We'll go all the way out to Bergen. And then from Bergen, we'll go up to Trondheim. That is the plan tomorrow, friends. Some more Norway. We love Norway. Yes. What does Bloom do? I think it has to do with the light shadows and casts and stuff. Are we going to do some WestJet flying next weekend? Uh, no. Next week we're going to be in the A300. We're going to be doing some more cargo next week. Do you have any guesses when the A380 releases? Uh, no. No. I still think we're like six months away, Mike. Remember that this isn't a full-time thing. These guys are doing this like on their days off, on their, you know, on weekends and stuff. 
I know one flight that we're doing tomorrow that's been a huge request is we're going to be doing uh, Memphis uh, to sure. San Juan. Memphis to San Juan on probably Saturday or Sunday next week. That's going to be uh, it's going to be good. It's about a three and a half four hour flight, so that'll be good. We'll stretch the uh, stretch the legs of the A three hundred. Apparently, it's a real world flight as well. So Memphis to San Juan. Tromso is also a good choice. It is, yeah. Rustad, I think we've been to all the major Norwegian airports that we can take a 7.3 into. I don't know. I haven't flown the A300 in a while. Hoping to get the Pratt & Whitney engine soon. I hope so, too. Yeah. When can? When was the last time you went to Alaska? Um, probably been a little bit. Probably been a little bit, yeah. We're probably due for some more Alaska at some point. Juno, Fairbanks. You saw it's going to be releasing in October? What's that? <coughs> the 380? Maybe. I feel that's a little bit long, but... I'm going to do some long-haul Antonov 225 flights to show some respect to Ukraine. It's a great great airplane. A lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. Approach, one, two, zero, approach, one, two, nine, decimal, three, two, five. 737 used to land at ENSD, although short runway, uh, sitting on a hill. Hmm, interesting. Imagine doing Norway ops with the Q400 with Wittero. Definitely going to happen as soon as the Q400 drops, for sure. Imagine doing Q400 ops with these types of visuals, man. You'd just be yeah, up and above those clouds, to too. To Man, it would be incredible. It would be incredible. Roger. Paro, yeah, Paro. What do you think about what flights to do? How do you think about what flights to do? Uh, I have a Discord channel with a, a channel that's called Flight Suggestions. And uh, that's a lot of help. It kind of leads me in the right direction of like flights that I could potentially do. Uh, flight Radar 2.4 is really great. I mean, you just saw what I just did. That, that's how I literally plan most of my flights. I'll show you again. You go to Flight Radar 2.4. You find our, you find an airport in the world. You scroll into it. You click on it. It gives you departures and arrivals. You can click on departures. There you go. There's probably 75 flights that you can choose from of, of like where to go and what to do and who's flying them. And so that's a, a huge, um, a huge help to me for planning my flights and stuff like that. So. I do like the 700 with those sensitivity says I feel like I might end up being a bit sluggish. 700 always seems to need uh, a lot of back pressure uh, and derated takeoff. I didn't notice anything, Tom. No. Any more ATR ops soon? Love to do some more ATR. I don't know if it's going to happen soon, but we will. Ecap, I was wondering if you're average more viewers in North America than you do everywhere else. Depends, Caleb. It really depends, man. Depends on the airplane I'm flying. Depends on, there's so many factors. Depends on the day. Sundays are usually the busiest. Saturday, Sundays, obviously, are usually the busiest days, so. There, there's a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of factors that come into, like, what, uh, you know, how many people are watching. Uh, we've got ADIS information. Uh, what is this? ADIS information. Uh, Uniform. One two one zero. Uh, There's thirty one thousand feet descent, top of so descent. Or sorry, top of climb for us. And then you can see here, top of descent is in a whopping twenty eight miles. Twenty eight miles to top of descent. So I'm going to go to our descent. I'm going to forecast our descent winds. I'm also going to update the live weather and see what things are doing here into Oslo. Um, I believe winds are still calm. Expect ILS approach, wind 350 at two, 2 knots. So almost right down the runway at 2 knots, which should be good. 1026 on the QNH, the arrival QNH. We'll bug that up, 1026. We will execute that. We'll load that. Good. We'll execute that. Beautiful. Cool. Descent winds have been pulled. Everything looks great. Progress page. It looks good there. Okay, uh, five, four, three. 
Beautiful. Cool. And we'll go, uh, our descent's in 21 miles. 21 miles. You ever thought of doing a flight together with XP or another streamer? Caleb, the, the software that's available isn't very good. Um, I'm, I'm, if I were ever to do that, I would need, like, software where we wouldn't have to worry about it. When we were leading up to World Flight, when we, when we all were, like, doing our practicing for World Flight, I think I did, like, ten World Flight flights. Out of those ten flights, I think one flight went off without any problems. It's... There's... These programs like Shared Cockpit and Your Controls are not very good. They leave, there's so many, like, there's just so many dynamics that can happen in a flight and things that can go wrong. Yeah. Once we get some type of, like, native support for, like, you know, Shared Flight Multiplayer, yes, I'd love to do something like that. But in its current state, the way that it is right now, there's just... How is Auto FPS mod? I don't use it. I've heard good things about it. But, um, yeah, I don't use it. Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie, when ready, descend flight level 120. When ready, we'll descend 120, Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. All right, 120, one ready. He gave us that. We're 12 Hello, miles up till descent. So we'll bug up 120, good. What map style do you use on Flight Radar 24? I know it's a random question. I don't know, man. Probably. Satellite, I think, is what it is. Microsoft 24 needs shared cockpit. Yes, I know that it was one of the main features that people have been requesting. I don't know if it's actually coming with it, but... Yeah. Chad, we need to get a... We need to get a screenshot. It's not going to be very good. We'll see if we can get a screenshot. Good evening, Captain. How's the flight going so far? Uh, so far, so good. Had a great arrival into Alessand, and we are now uh, doing the return flight to Oslo. The aircraft was giving us some issues, but we ended up uh, restarting the simulator, and everything kind of got figured out, so we're good to go. Less than five miles now, Jack. Top of descent. 120450 is going to be us with our next frequency for Oslo approach. I'm hoping to know we have uh, ADIS information uniform. Confirm frequency 120, that's most 4-5-0. 1-2, uh, uh, could you please repeat it, LND 6-1-1? 1-2-0, that's most 4-5-0. 1-2-0, that's most 4-5-0. 1-2-0, that's most 4-5-0. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Senior 888, contact swing control. 1-1-8, that's most 4-0-5. Well, the first landing was super greasy. It was. <laughs> Considering everything that had led up to that arrival, it was decent. I, th I feel like we saved it big time, 12 cut. That had a lot of potential to go, uh, to go south. A lot of potential to go bad, and we somehow pulled it off and kept it uh, acceptable. Hey, Captain, do you know why when I activate the autopilot and the VNAV it only climbs at about 1,500 feet per minute? Uh, did you set a cost index and a cruise altitude? It also depends on the weight of your aircraft, Finn, right? There's a lot of variables that can that can cause something like that. Weight of the aircraft, cost index, cruise level, center of gravity. Yes, thank you for that, uh, Wyatt. Appreciate that. Um, Alex, 350 on the month. That's going to get him up into second spot. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for reminding me. Appreciate you, Wyatt. Information Alpha. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Gentle, good to see you, man. Welcome back as well. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. LNAV must be armed too. Uh, for what? for climbing as long as you have VNAV you don't need LNAV for your climb profile <clears throat> you need LNAV so it fall, follows your flight path yes absolutely not sure why I feel uh, feel there did Salt Lake City with Paxim I don't know probably we're already working on it Tom developing these sceneries takes quite a bit of time so it wouldn't surprise me if they they had they had already started developing it, and then Paxim came out and released theirs, and they were like, ah, well, shit. <laughs> Might as well keep going now. 
be a nice thumbnail, but it's a little bit too dark. Chat, give me a sec. I'm just gonna bring the time back for a little bit of little bit of thumbnail. All right, just bear with me here for a sec. Let me get a little bit of thumbnail here for us tomorrow. That's gonna be a nice thumbnail for our video tomorrow. Good, and then let me bring that Good time back. Good evening, Polish Control Virgin. I don't know what time I had it set to somewhere around there. <clears throat> Landed also with a 59. Nice. Very cool. Got my Culver's. You know, I got the custard. Ah, man. How is it? Is it literally everything you could have ever imagined? Frozen custard, dude. Is there a Culver's in Las Vegas? Call of Duty, or is that like a like Midwestern thing? Let's check. Culver's Las Vegas. You need to micro remove pilot control clamp at the wheel 380. Doesn't look. Wait, Culver's Las no, Vegas, Nevada? Clamp 5050 pilot control clamp at the wheel 290. No. Well, maybe. Polaris control, good evening. Do they have a Culver's? No. There are no Culvers in Las Vegas, which makes me very upset. Scan 5 Alpha identified, cleared Lunar 3 November arrival. Primarily Midwest, got you. Treatment appeared to pop back. The yeah, Cavalier Departure one, Airport is sus. Just waiting for somebody to say that. Waiting for someone to say that. Yeah, look at how good it looks down there, chat. I'm telling you, man, we need to do more flying in Norway. Norway is beautiful. We need more Norway. That's okay, more room for cherry limeades. My fiance was telling me, Mr. Jarvis, that we gotta try some of the different flavors. She was saying they got some like crazy ass flavors. And she's like, I, I respect the cherry limeade, but she's like, there are some insane flavors that you can go with. So we may have to go scout that out one night. I have a Culver's right across the street from me. Dude, can you go get me some frozen custard and send that bad boy over? To November arrival. I mean, I'm at this rate, Jarvis, with how hot it's going to be, I'm pretty sure we're going to be going there for... We're going to be going there for, uh... Probably every day. Oh, shit, sorry. Probably every day. I can totally see us going there. Every day. Here, smack the microphone. Any mod for Aurora Borealis and icing on the cake? Kind of cool, wouldn't it? Cobble's here in Arizona, wow, and I'm going to fight some expo. You, you need a delivery. <laughs> huh. Sunkiss makes Inbound cherry limeade. I'm sipping on some right now. It's fire. Mm -hmm. Cracks me up that no one calls him Jarvis anymore. No, it's Mr. Javis. <laughs> All of flights of expo, too. It's going to be Javis. Monsieur. <laughs> We'll just start calling him like Monsieur or something. <laughs> One two zero four five zero for Nordic uh, One Hotel Charlie. Thanks for ATC. Have a good evening. All right. One two zero four five. He didn't even wait for me. He's cut me off. Nordic four six one sir. Now heading. When you start getting prepared for the arrival into one left, well, we'll see if this is what he's going to end up giving us, but. Gonna have to legally change my name soon, just to okay, Monsieur. Monsieur. Confirm your established for Monsieur Javis. Right. It looks like you're on tier one left. <laughs> hey, Cap. Uh, how do you get the yellow and dirt in the PMG 737, the thing above uh, the Master Caution? Uh, like all this, this is the wear and tear mod. You can put exclamation point wear in chat. Just please follow the instructions. If you are going to install these mods, it's the wear and tear mod. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a must have in my opinion. Um, but yeah, exclamation point wear in chat. W E A R. Hopefully we get a nice normal approach this time to chat. Uh, no problem. Nordic 
How's the approach? Good uh, evening, Nordic One Hotel Charlie, 19,500, descending 12,000. Nordic One Hotel Charlie, got correction, push up approach. Hello. When ready, descend flight level 9,000, expect ILS, 0, bomb left. When ready, we'll descend 9,000, we'll expect ILS, 0, 1, left. Nordic One Hotel Charlie, thank you. All right, cool. Approach Let's start programming evening, some of this stuff now that we know we are to expect one left. Uh, 110.3 and 012. 012. 012. 012. 012. 012. And. Uh, was it 1093? 1103. 1103. Nordic 461, turn left, heading 340 degrees. Clear island. Good. And minimums today 857. 857 on the minimum. Chat. Right, so one nine or zero will get vectored to What is the where mod? Exclamation point where in chat. Just follow the follow the link, man. We'll give you all the explanations that you need for it. Everything, everything, everything that you need. Eight five seven on the minimums. Scandinavian one 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 five. Uh speed one nine or zero not the greater. One nine zero we're Good. greater. Scandinavian one 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 five. And if we're looking at the approach, I think we have restrictions. Two hundred and fifty knots, two twenty, two twenty, two twenty. Four thousand feet, fire up. There's a lot of speed restrictions coming in. You couldn't see any explanations? Oh, it's all there. Scandinavian two five Quebec. Cap, how do I join your Discord? When I click on the bot's link, it says the link is invalid or expired. Try doing it in a different browser, Yosan. Um, or you can clear your cache. If you clear your cache on whatever driver you're using now, it should work. But, um, yeah. Oof. Man, look at that. Chat. We may have to use that as our thumbnail. Looks incredible. Hold on. What time is it right now? 6.30? Can we roll this back? Station calling, say, call sign. Air India, 611. That's probably going to be our screenshot for tomorrow. Oops. And let me put this back to 630. Nordic 461, turn right heading 280 degrees. Sheesh. Right to 280, Nordic 461. Look at that. That's insane. Do you actually prefer to fly in the USA or Europe? Uh, probably a little bit more comfortable flying in the US and North America, but I don't mind flying anywhere. I fly, like flying everywhere. Flying's all the same, man. Once you kind of learn how things are done, the biggest difference is like transition altitudes and ETC between the, the different. Right? Other than that, the flying's all the same, man. The airports all look the same. There's a lot more SIDs and STARS in Europe and, and like, you know, outside of North America, but... What do you recommend for uh, just flight Palma or just SIM? I think the just SIM one, which is usually weird, I don't think just SIM makes... He makes decent scenery, I don't think they're the best scenery, but uh, I would go with the just SIM Palma. Wait, Palma de Mallorca or which one? Be West. Las Palma or Palma de Mallorca? I think you might have to update the Discord link cap. Seems to have expired or had its max uses happens with Discord links. Nope, everything's fine with the Discord link, man. Trust me, it's set. We've already figured this all out, dude. It, it, the Discord links work. It's something to do with your browser. Uh, again, if you clear the cache in your browser, <coughs> or if you just open the link in a different browser, you copy the link and you open it in a different browser, it will work. Everything will be fine. Uh, Palma de Mallorca? Yeah, just sim. I'd go with the just sim version of it. Should I get sim wings or MK uh, Barcelona? MK. Far better detail, especially of the surrounding area. MK Studios uh, actually like modeled all the port and stuff coming in on the runway two sixes. It's very nice. Yeah, very nice. We have the times to two six thirty. Sorry, I'm because of ATC. I've been flying in the U.S. for the last two weeks, and ATC is a different world. It is big time. Yeah. Do you struggle with listening to ATC sometimes, or do you expect that they're going to say most times? Most times, I expect what they're going to say. Because, uh, 
because it's um well hmm. yeah i don't know sometimes i, I some most of the times i know what's going to happen right if you study or not study but <clears throat> as long as you know your departure and your arrival you're usually pretty good you know if, the biggest thing that i find in europe is they give you a lot of direct twos so you have to be you have to be ready for like the directs and stuff like that but other than that that's probably the only thing that i've noticed as far as like flying into europe is a little bit different The interior is the best. I don't pay attention to interiors of sceneries, man. I don't, that's not, uh, the interior of an airport does not meet my qualifications. I don't, yeah. I have crazy respect about how you can talk to chat and listen to ATC at the same time. I would miss so many calls. I do miss some, Monsieur Ravis. Uh, I do miss some, but I do, I am constantly always, like, listening through one ear. Like, even when I'm talking. Most of the time, I can pick it up. There, I do miss it sometimes, but yeah. Must know all the VOR names. Yeah. Be ready for direct Valpu. See, there you go. Lots of directs. We like directs. Is there a direct Valpu? Should I should I be prepared? There is a direct Valpu. See, we'll be prepared. Got it. What are your reaction to PMGG saying launch will be within two months? Hopefully it comes before two months. Love to see it before two months. Tyson, happy St. Patty's Day to you, my friend. Thank you. If I was 10 years younger, I would probably be at a bar right now. Or drinking green beer, making green beer at home or something. Getting too old now. Drink a lot of soda. I'm addicted and I can't get rid of my daily routines. I don't drink any soda, dude. I drink water. Although I have found a store that has recently been importing sodas, and I, I did buy some, but like they're more for the summer. I like to have like one every now and then, but they have, what do they have? Cherry Coke, Strawberry Crush, Peach Crush, Pineapple Crush, and some like Welch's Fruit Punch Soda and Orange Cream Soda. Yeah. I got a bunch. They're more so too for like when buddies come over and stuff like that. But. Cap, do you randomly choose the last two letters of your call sign? No, these are real world flights. These are real world flights. Cap, do you turn off the switch on the back of the power supply when you turn off the computer? Uh, no. No. Uh, the only time I do that uh, ball is life is if I'm going no, away for if I'm going away for like uh, you know a week or something like that I'll, I'll turn it off that way no. but when you're going to bed at night like no you don't need to worry about turning off the power supply switch cherry coke dude slaps slaps uh, 10,000 feet landing lights start switches wing lights Cabin. Ding them. Let's get ready. Buying the 737-800 later today. Anything I should be aware of. I mean, there's some a few random bugs here and there, but I think for the most part, you'll be perfectly fine. Lots of videos, lots of tutorials out there and stuff as well, so you should have no problems jumping into it, getting things ready. Ooh, late landing clearances already. <clears throat> I joined your Discord cap, finally figured it out. Awesome. What did you have to do? The new A320 IEs was so space. difficult to learn how to butter your streams helped a lot for me to learn. I still miss the touchdown zone a lot, though. Yeah, you'll get it, man. Just focus on it. Takes time. Takes time. <clears throat> and when they're constantly changing the flight model and updating and manipulating things, it makes it even more difficult, right? So, don't feel bad at all. Feel bad. Dr. Pepper cream soda is pretty darn good. I don't drink nearly as much of soda as I used to, though. No, I, like I said, I'll maybe have a couple every now and then, but I don't, uh, not an everyday thing. All I do is really drink. You had to search Captain Canada Discord on Google. Interesting. Well, there you go. It's weird because it would be the same link, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, we'll sneak in on 7-6 here in a while. Thank you. He's getting even 1-1-1-5. One, 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 
Nordic 1, what else can I to see direct call to? 5 plus 2, right level 1, is to the <coughs> First Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie, proceed direct Valpu. Proceed direct Valpu, Nordic uh, 1 Hotel Charlie. Right, Can there is Valpu. Five, five, Hello, expect ILS 01 left. When ready, please. He's going to have to get us lower here as well soon. But we're going direct Valpu now. Left and descending nine zero right over top of another little airport down there. Scandinavian 25 Quebec, speed 160. Hello from Norway, Bodo. Uh, Bodo here, Buda. Hello from Norway, Bodo. Buda. Good to see you, uh, this type of stream. Simon, good to see you, man. Welcome. <laughs> <For stad. laughs> nice. Almost like you Nordic knew what was going to happen. In terms of realism, uh, sorry, would you say the 5 r 320 is worse than the Phoenix A320 since the 5 r is free? They're both great. Uh, is the is the Phoenix A320 better? Yes. But I don't think that makes the, the fly-by-wire any less of an aircraft. They're, they're both really good. The fly-by-wire is a payware aircraft for a reason. I'll just put it that way. So it should be 220 on the speed, so I'm going to maintain 220. What if it didn't save this either? Nordic 461, welcome to Cardamon, taxi Victor and Yankee, parking 2-0. Victor, Yankee, parking 2-0, Nordic 461. Okay, we 611, speed 160, not till 4 miles. Speed 1260, not till 4 miles, air India 611. Nordic 146, speed 190, not till 4 miles. Interesting. Oh, I bet it's just a general aviation airport, it looks like to me. Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie, descend 5,000 feet, QNH 1026. 5,000 feet, 1026, Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. Alright, let's go altitude and intervene. Shows us slightly above profile now. So I'm going to put out some ground spoilers, get us back on track. It's a GA flight club, got you. Chatty, how are you, man? It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, man. Welcome back. How has life been, my friend? Some India Tour E320 Ops coming soon. Got some new freeware and payware sceneries. Yes, that does need to happen. I do agree. Uh, I want to take the 7-3 there, though, so we can do some Spice Jet. Last time we were there, we did Indigo and some of the other uh, airlines. I want to take the 7-3 there and do some Spice Jet Ops and stuff like that. That would be really fun. Maybe when we get the Max, some Max is fine, some Spice Jet Max. I don't know. Are they only 800? So? Thank you. Continue approach. How do you import Simbri flight plans to the 737? Uh, you set up your, so you get your Simbri username, and you import that down here into the aircraft, or I believe it's down here into the FMC. You just take your Simbri username. There's some great tutorials. If you go up to the uh, the PMDG YouTube channel or, or the PMDG forums. There's some great uh, there are some great little yeah, tutorials on there. Walk you right through it. 1026, 1026, everything's looking good, cool. What does altitude intervene mean? Uh, basically it will start the aircraft whether you're high or low on your profile. If you altitude intervene, the aircraft will either start pitching down or up to track your profile. Interestingly, that same day that PMG released a video tease, Flight Factor posted something on the first time in a while. Well, yeah, they're. Sorry, can you repeat the first part for uh, Nordic One Hotel Charlie? Nordic One Hotel Charlie, descend via Valpu Transition. We'll descend with the Valpu transition and we'll create ILS. Uh, one left. Uh, Nordic One Hotel Charlie. All right. So we're to descend uh, via the Valpu transition. So if we have a look at that, we can see that we're going down to 3,500 feet. So we're going to bug up 3,500 feet. There it is. And you can see now we're coming back up on a profile. We're just about 450 feet below, uh, above profile right now. So we're descending back onto profile. And, uh, That's looking good, and, and I believe our speed can stay at 220 knots, mandatory 220 knots, India, max 200 knots at Ogres. So you can see Ogres is coming up here, so we'll get ready to descend uh, and bring that speed back. I'll do that now, 
I'll go 200 Nordic knots now. We're back on profile, so I can go ground spoilers in and armed, and I'm going to go flaps one. Now as well. And that's going to help manage the speed. Again, at Normally 160 two, knots until 4 DME in Oslo. Perfect. Do you see Mentor Prolet? Uh, pilot, he does some bullshit, real good, informative videos on aircraft incidents. He does some no bullshit. Yes, he does. He does great stuff, man. Yeah. There's some great videos out there, that's for sure. Welcome to Gardamon Taxi Hotel, November and Kilo, stand 178. I'm on my way down to Montego Bay from JFK, and all I see is blue. Yes, we just did uh, we did JFK down to Nassau last weekend. That was a really fun flight. Thoroughly enjoyed that one, man. We did it in uh, JetBlue IAEs, JFK down to Nassau. Definitely going to do that one again. Need to do the return flight as well. Next time, maybe we're in, uh, we're in the Airbus. I feel like Mentor Pilot, check out Green Dot Aviation. He's my fave. Yep, I know all those guys, man. Yeah. There's a bunch of them, dude. I've been really interested in there's a, I think it's aircraft investigation. I forget what it is. Something or something reports. I forget what it is, but he takes like incidents and stuff and he breaks down the incidents. I've been, been enjoying watching those like randomly just having them on in the background as I'm doing stuff. All right, we're going to arm localizer. Yeah, expect ILS approach runway 01. Oh, runway 01 right. Did you say Virgin 901? Virgin Island 1, A firm. Brick, brick. Nordic 432, line up and wait, runway 0 1 left. Line up and wait, runway And we should have left. tower Nordic frequency on. Air India 611, welcome to Garden uh, 1. No Vacate tower. Alpha 5 and taxi hotel to parking 6. All right, localizer has been captured, we'll arm approach. Air India 611, Air India 611, we created runway by Alpha 5. Oh, sorry, I went and that's it for speed. It's 160 to 4 DME, so Area that's good. Roger, taxi, mic, and hotel park. And the question, taxi, kilo, parking, one seat. And uh, uh, probably take Alpha 5, and maybe even Alpha 6. We'll see how it goes. Taxi, kilo, parking, one seat. Area, All right, speed, taxi, 190. One as soon as we get glide one. slope, we'll go. Actually, you know what? I'll just roll back now. Flaps 5 degrees, about to intercept glide slope. Green Dot's Malaysian flight video was awesome, Nordic it was a great one. Nordic 146, wind C, correction, wind calm, and we see the one right, check land. Clear line the zero one right, Nordic 146. Nordic 1, tell Charlie, speed 160 knots, or greater to 4 miles. 160 or greater to 4 miles, Nordic uh, 1 Hotel Charlie. Nordic 432, wind calm, runway 0 1 right, left. Let's go left, speed 170, gear down, runway zero and left, 7 miles out now. Nordic 432. Ryanair, let's butter this, let's have another great landing, I do agree. We had a great landing into Allison, hopefully now we can have another great landing here into Oslo to wrap up the day. We are going to do more Norway flying tomorrow, I've enjoyed today so much. We're going to do more Norwegian flying tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be going from Oslo to Bergen, and then Bergen up to... Where did we say we're going tomorrow, chat? Bergen to... Trondheim, I think? Yes, Trondheim. Perhaps 15 degrees. Uh, v approach speed today, 152. 152. Let's bug up 152. We are short of four miles now. Let's get all of our lights on. Good, good, good. Flaps 25 degrees. And coming through 160 knots, we'll go flaps 30, which will be our landing flaps today. I'm going to take control of the throttles. There's through 160 knots, flaps 30. Find the back to my hometown of Bergen, Oslo Bergen is a beautiful uh, flight. It is, yes. Very much looking forward to that one. Cool. Twisty cam's going on. Shades are coming off for this one, chat, so we can see beautifully. My aircraft. Enjoy the arrival, friends. Approach. 
Nordic, one of those early winds, calm, run with either one left, two left. Go on left, clear two land, Nordic 1 Hotel Charlie. Nordic 1 4 6, they get in on Bravo 6. There we go, let's do it. Sounds drop, enjoy the arrival, guys. Who's naked? Calm winds. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, Chad. This, this is what you dream of. Watch tomorrow, we're going to get absolutely smashed by winds. All right, checklist gear down, three green, flaps uh, 30 indicated ground spoilers, green light, cabin crews advised, you guys are advised, we're clear to land, Just four. Let's do it. Approaching we we'll go on the slope, we don't want to go chasing blind slope, we just want to go lower, continue. Oh, it's stuttering like crazy, please fix yourself. 50, 40. 30, 20, 10. First out, nose down gently. Oh, I wasn't putting a replay. Decelerating. Manual braking will vacate here to the right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down. Back to Oslo. I forgot the replay. That was a great landing, too. Hey, my bad, Chad. How did I forget the replay? Great landing. We just have to enjoy it in real time now. <clears throat> and we vacate Alpha 6. Bad captain. Yes, I would agree. Bad captain. Right bad captain. That was some real bad stutters, though, into there. Did you see that? It was like... Nordic, one of those early, welcome to Gardamo and Taxi, Victor and Yankee, parking 2-0. Victor and Yankee stand 2-0, Nordic 1, Hotel Charlie. Thanks for your TC. Thanks, boy. Victor and Yankee. Where is Victor? Straight ahead and a right on Yankee for stand 2-0. That is... Beautiful. All right, cool. Spoilers, can you please um, the, um, talk the top here? spoilers and flaps going in. No replay, unsub. Stop the clock. 48 minutes on the return flight with some beautiful vectors into that uh, for that arrival. Auto brake goes off. Flaps are going clean. Landing lights are off. Good. APU is spooling. Start switches go off. Strobe lights go off. Wing lights go off. There we go. Friends, good. We're going all the way in here onto Yankee. Sorry, Victor. And then we're making our right turn onto Yankee. No replay, Nordic one, etc. Doing the loop again. I probably should go around. Just like we were getting amazing frames, but then all of a sudden they started like super stuttery. Yeah, this is Orbex scenery. I've, I've never had that issue landing into here though. I don't know what that was. It was almost like it was loading, like, as we were going. It's very weird. Very weird. Taking off, can't reach stream. Have a great dinner. College dude, thanks, man. Appreciate you, dude. Hopefully you enjoyed your culvers, which I know that you did. Jealous. Shader cash? I don't think that has anything to do with it. I don't know. It's not stuttery right now, which leads me to believe that it's not really anything that could be in the background. I don't know. What a good controller. So much traffic. Yes. Incredible. Incredible ATC here, man, as always. Have a great landing, Caleb. Take care, man. All right, we're going Yankee straight into the ramp. We get these guys off now. We'll go GSX and Gates. Twenty. No. Menzies. APU generators. Bleeds. Good. 
For you, what's the best setup for Microsoft? Probably the one that I have, man. I absolutely love my setup. Between having like an actual physical CDU here beside me, the throttles with the real size Boeing handles and the Thrustmaster pendular yoke system, I don't think it gets any better than that, man. I think this is the best bang for your buck for like a normal setup, you know, without breaking the bank and going crazy. All right, and Stan's going to be just off to our right. It's going to be right there, Stan 2-0. Kill our taxi light. Into the stand, runway 2-0. Start the deboarding process. Again, I apologize about not having a replay, guys. I feel like we did good considering how stuttery it was there. I feel like we still had a great arrival. Very minimal float on that as well. So it worked pretty well. coming in a little bit too high speed. Maintain this little separation to the traffic on parallel ramp. Also not getting any type of guidance system in today. I don't know, it's weird. Not telling me if I'm left or if I'm right or if I'm here or if I'm there. So we're just going to cheat. We're going to go outside a little bit. Because this bridge won't disconnect unless, like, you're perfectly aligned with it. Right about there should be good. Cool. Park brake is on. Upstairs looks good. Bleeds are on. Engine number two is off. Engine number one is off. Gens are on. Good. Hydro pumps off. Anti-collision light is off. Probe heats uh, off. Yacht ampers off. Fuel pumps are off. Seatbelt signs are off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down back to Oslo. Apologize about not getting the replay for that one. We'll go to GSX. We'll request deboarding. There we have it, my amigos. Another, well, by the way, we're flying with Freddie Mercury on our tail. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but Freddie Mercury, British rock legend. Probably the best to do it. Freddie, Freddie. There we have it, friends. Beautiful day of flying. Some great arrivals today. Beautiful arrival into Allison. Beautiful arrival back here. I don't know what those little stutters were, but a beautiful arrival back into here. Real great day of flying. Again, if you guys did enjoy that, please don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Show the channel some love if you did uh, um, enjoy the content. We are again uh, live again tomorrow. Going to be doing some more Norwegian ops. We're going to be going from Oslo to Bergen, Bergen to Trondheim. So it should be a great day of flying as well. I'm very excited for that one. More Norway. Showing some love for Norway. We love Norway. Uh, guys, thanks so much for being here. I got to get running. I got to get showered and out the door within the next uh, 30 minutes. I got to be out of here. So appreciate everybody being here today. Thank you so, so much, mods, donators, and sponsors. Thank you for everything that you guys do for the channel. Without you guys here, none of this would be possible. So seriously, thank you all for your support. Incredibly kind. Truly do appreciate it. Uh, a huge shout out again to Alex with the big news of his uh, proposal. And of course, coming in with the $150 donation absolutely incredible appreciate y'all man you guys are incredible thank you so much for being here appreciate it again looking for something to do tomorrow we will be back on vatsim hopefully we can get some of the controllers back online again today was not expecting to get full etc in norway today and the type of service that we did so let's get some love and chat for all the vatsim uh, norwegian controllers today as well doing an incredible job uh busy as hell but still just absolutely slaying it with these vectors and uh, an incredible job. So, always cool. Hopefully, we can get some more ATC tomorrow for our flights. That would be a great one. Guys, enjoy the outro tunes. Enjoy the deboarding process. <clears throat> Sorry that there's no replay. And I will see all of you guys tomorrow. And I promise tomorrow, I won't forget the replay. Happy landings, my friends. Catch y'all tomorrow. Have a great Sunday evening. See